Hey, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Call of Duty show match. I know everyone was probably expecting a game with West Point, but uh, there's a bit of a scheduling mix up, uh, miscommunication. You know, it, it kind of happens. So I am here, obviously, with, with Coach Ricochet. How are you doing? Doing well. Editing some last minute things. Yes, uh, we got word very, uh, very short time ago that that match has been rescheduled to next week. Uh, and that was so. Tune in next week to see the West Point match. <laughs> um, we're here today with the A team versus B team show match, so that should be fun. Let me finish up this. Go ahead and in, uh, yeah. what are you expecting to see here today uh, out, of, out of this in, this impressive show match here, Coach Rans? So I'm really looking forward to seeing essentially like the future. This is kind of like comparing the current team versus possibly the future team leading up to next semester and thereafter. So it's always good to see how you match up compared to the people that have been working as a team for, you know, the full semester and, and all of that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to see who is going to be the person. Uh, I'm going to call one person out. Who's going to be the purpose in the Phil Karakas shoes? Because at this point, he's been kind of like, you know, uh, a huge part of the team, uh, a leader and a uh, motivator. And it's when you lose someone like that, it's super important to like find the replacement Absolutely. because a team without our leaders is really, really rough. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing who's that next person, uh, at least to step up for Ferris and a random doggo appears in my stream. Uh, yes. So uh, do you have any guesses there? Uh, uh, go do I have any guesses? That's yeah, I don't want to step up. <laughs> I don't want to put a lot of pressure on. On my students here today, but uh, Llama's been popping off in, in, in some matches here. Um, MC's been popping. Pretty much everybody on the A team has the potential to be that person. Uh, if they, it just depends on how they work well. You know, when Karaka's on the team, they don't have to be, so nobody really has to step up and do that because cause they're playing through that. I know um, when I played on teams w with great players, uh, you adjust your play style to kind of assist them instead of be the one who needs to take on the extra pressure. So we're going hope to hopefully see some of that pressure coming to come on those players today. Uh, and see how they they handle it. It's a lot easier to be a facilitator than the uh, the main star. You know, it's Correct. always easier to be the the supporting cast. So, um, like I said, I'm I'm excited to see who is going to be the next person to step up for this team, and uh, be the leader, be the the main carry. So, absolutely, absolutely. But so I'm like, look, I, I'm doing the same thing you are, making sure everything's good or <laughs> checking yes. all the monitors. Yes, I'm just so. trying to make sure that we're getting into the lobby. It's They are in multiplayer, but I don't know if I'm here. I can just join, I guess. It's, what's the worst that can happen? Uh, okay, yes. They're in the middle warm-up. Middle warm-up, <laughs> all right. Let me get into the Codcaster slot. Maybe? Oh, they're in the game. Yeah. Oh, it's putting me in game. Hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Even yes. better. <laughs> Even less downtime. Let's go. That's what you'd like to see. But it might um, be it might be me as a, as a player. So we'll see. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Which, uh, That's all unfortunate. All of my classes are restricted. Classic. So yeah, while we wait for <laughs> <laughs> that to uh, that to appear, how how has your season been going? You know, I, I know we kind of wrapped that up for the most part. But do you want to talk about yeah. uh, yours and the league team as well? Uh, all we have left is Span with Bowl and any other smaller tournaments that we choose to participate in. Uh, we had the most successful season in CLO we've ever had, Absolutely. which is uh, a great thing for the team. Um, unfortunately, they kind of messed us up with CLO because we were used to like losing one game and instantly being out of CLO and then having just going to CSL as like a, a backup. But um, we ended up having our B team play as our main team for CSL the entire tournament, which was because they were the same these... length, correct? Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's, you couldn't play in both at the same time. So I, it was nice because like players who couldn't play for for CLO, we were able to just like to swap in our CSL players and like the like traditional A and B team swapping and stuff. Yep. But it was. It, it was interesting constantly juggling rosters and people like couldn't play this day. So we were like, this person would swap and then they go back to the B team. And then they go, I, I don't want to play with the B team anymore because that was significantly different than playing with the A team. Yes. Um, our B team didn't exactly have the greatest record either this year. So <laughs> that was, yeah. Uh, and, and when you're switching, you know, you don't get the time to kind of solidify the roster and build that synergy when, when people are coming in and out every week. And a lot of it too, you know, B team players were like, Hey, I can't make it today. And, and A team players were like, well, I can't make it to our match. So we're, we're just constantly juggling lineups. Uh, definitely it wasn't helping, but now that we know that going into future years and future semesters, yes. we can plan accordingly, which is hey. And it all th all that means is that we can have more players on our league teams now. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Because we were using our B team as subs for the A team, and our you know A team subs for the B team, so uh, we can just have more players now, which is always a, a great opportunity to get more people involved. Of so, course, of course. The more I'm, uh, I'm time looking you get forward to that in the official matches, the 
the better that you get as a player and the more fun you have, right? Absolutely. Uh, you know, ranked is one thing. Playing competitively for your university is just an entirely different pressure. Uh, I know for that person because I played a bunch of games this year as well. So that was something like, you know, I, I've, I've played like thousands of ranked games, but then all of a sudden you're like, hey, you're playing for university against another university. Good luck. Don't mess up. And yeah. it's just like, oh, okay, thanks. Uh, so, no, it was it was definitely interesting. I really did enjoy playing for the university this year, though. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah, it's playing the, that that's uh, 5v5 in, in league, I was going to say 6v6. There's my Overwatch leaking out. But uh, just getting to used to playing with a group of people that, that's communicating, and especially for league, right? There's no voice chat in league itself, so that's got to be – how does the team handle that um, compared to normally? It's a lot of learning how to talk about things because it's really like it's difficult because like, of course, you, it's easy to talk about things. So it's just like the right information getting, you know, sent to each individual person because everyone's roles interact with each other. And it's just getting the right. I keep holding my green screen. Sorry, there's nothing behind my green screen. It's leaning up against my chair. So every time my dog walks by, I think she's going to knock it over and you're going to see behind the fifth dimension. And okay. uh, yeah, no. So it's it just teaching people how to communicate properly and effectively um, in the game. Like obviously, like Overwatch, you call targets and stuff. But like League, you've never been even even called targets before. You kind of just hit what's in front of you. So it, it's it's focusing on like the smaller things and tracking junglers and stuff like that. So does it become um, significantly it, harder as like someone like a jungler or somebody who has to kind of roam around with those supports to do your job because people you notice people are are actively calling out where you are and that kind of stuff. For junglers, absolutely. Yes, because, um, you know, it's so cute. It's like sometimes they see you on a ward, sometimes they don't, even though the ward sees you kind of things. Right. And you've got 10 sets of eyes looking at that ward now and they see you. So it's hard to fool 10 people rather than just one person, right? Um, so, yes, junglers are significantly harder, but it's also significantly easier because you know where the vision is. Yep. People tell you where the wards are and stuff. Rather oh, than so like you kind of just that. guessing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So everything so, is easier and more difficult all at the same time. Of course. Yes. Yeah, and it's the same way in Overwatch <laughs> too, right? Like if you're playing like a flank hero, um, someone like a hog or like a tracer, where you want to kind of be on that off angle and kind of poke and harass, it's much easier in voice comms to go like, "Hey, they're back here," and either like send the right people to deal with it, um, or just go ignore it, and everybody kind of ignores it. Keeping everybody on the same page is such an important part uh, of competitive games, especially at the higher levels like our teams are playing. And uh, it's way easier to do in voice comms. But that also, uh, how good a team can be is kind of capped out by how well they can come and how well they can react to those as well. It's a lot of trust, too. Because, like, you, you don't get do-overs. Like, none of our games get do-overs. You don't go, okay, guys, we messed up. Let's go Let's go back and do it again. You just have to fully trust that this is the right call. And you either go back after the game and be like, hey, look, we messed up here. Or, like, no, that was a really good call. And it's it's a lot of trust because it's a look you don't trust in your teammates because yes. you know they're 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 either they're throwing or they're just making the wrong call or whatever. So yeah. it's um, learning that trust it just comes from playing a bunch of games in a row with each other. And so, it can actually help you we, improve as a, as a player quite a bit because you actually because having that trust you know you only have to do your job right. You don't have to go above and beyond. You don't have to do anything crazy. You just have to perform your job well and your team will will succeed. So it's absolutely. not. I mean we have two players just a little thing we have two players that have been playing together the entire time they've been on the league team like all the entire time they've been in the university together and they also have, like live together in, a, in an apartment on campus so it's one of those things where like they they have that trust they have that communication they, they know like they they communicate with each other they understand fully and trust each other so that part's really good um i, I just wish that all our players had that kind of trust with each other um that's yeah, again that part of that idea. too it will be will come with as we get in arena as we get in person as we do a lot more of these things it becomes a lot easier to trust somebody that you know and you see on a daily basis where if you're living with someone obviously you have to trust them you, you live with them they your roommate you have a lot of those kind of informal conversations um but then as as we get in person as we get this new arena it's going to afford us to give those opportunities to our players as well yeah, absolutely. I'm also looking forward to that because, um, you know, seeing, you know, each other in Discord or like just talking to each other is completely different than actually being able to like look over and be like, hey, what's up? You know, yep. so it's uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that as well. Just the, the environment that it creates. For sure. So. And it's a lot easier to uh, or it's a lot harder to get tilted at somebody you're sitting next to because you just you can see them. You see their human being instead of just typing in chat or, or vo voice comms, especially, but typing. Right. It's so much easier to type it. And somebody angry who's just, a, uh, you know, especially if their handle's dumb or annoying or something. And, and you just have to look at them and realize they're a person. Not for league players. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I've been into enough in-person league stuff where you can look across and start screaming at each other still. So, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, and that's all about team environment. And all of our teams have 
had really good team environments this year. We haven't had any major problems as far as I know, as far as like people just getting into screaming matches and stuff. And correct, which um, is which is great. That's what we're here to build. We're here to build a good community. Mm -hmm. We're here to build uh, a, a space for these players to kind of come out, get to know people on campus, build those connections that they otherwise wouldn't. I know I made great friends who were in, were in other programs I never would have met. Um, some you know one of my best friends that I gra that graduated around the same time as me. I was a marketing major. Wouldn't have seen him. They're they're in separate spots on campus from the majors that I were in. Um, and, and and now we you know I got to go to like professional events with them. Just like hey, it's good to see you here. Um, building those connections you know, with people you normally wouldn't um, helps you in ways that you wouldn't necessarily think down the line. And also yeah, it's just I fun mean, to have I, friends, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I uh, I said that when I was going to Oakland. It's just like I had this passion for this thing, but there wasn't a space for people like me to meet other people. You would like randomly see people in in game with the OU tag, and you go Oakland, Oklahoma, or uh, yeah. where do you go? Uh, it's to Ohio, stuff like that. So I'm I'm really happy that I mean they do now, but that's after I left. But uh, I'm really happy that Ferris has a place where like all of us get together and just you know nerd out about game oh. video games. Absolutely, and it's even going to get better over time. Uh, when we get the new building, when we get the uh, other spaces on campus, no leaks um, that we're working on as well. So we've got a lot of cool things on the pipeline here for Fair City Sports, and I'm super excited to, to kind of share that with you guys. It looks like they are done. Uh, I managed to pick up eight kills as well, so let's go. Um, <laughs> oh, you were in the middle game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just I hopped in with them because I was trying to get in and just see what was going on, and it ended up they had just started a new lobby. So. Um, uh-huh wow you are extremely <laughs> talented um that was that is impressive sir that you were able to hold a conversation and play a video game at the same time uh it's a miracle and no you're mouse still no mouse fed is no fun oh, that is, oh, that is fun yeah, oh wow sure. oh so. but they're on controllers though so you had it yes yes so. absolutely and it was it was very apparent <laughs> that uh, advantage <laughs> But again, that's uh -huh. one of those that's one of those unique things about Call of Duty is it is exclusively controller, right? I'm interested mm -hmm. to see if that's something they continue. They've kind of built kind of a brand around it. So I, it would feel really really weird as a professional player to just be like, "Hey, I know you made a career. I know you made the team. Um we're switching your input device, right?" It it would be it would be a big shock. I know there are some players, there's a player, there's a Call of Duty professional player um who hit uh, immortal in, in Valorant, which is pretty crazy to do, um, you know, and then went back and then continued to win and win a COD championship. So it's like, whoa, going back and forth like that uh, is pretty impressive. But again, it just shows fundamentals of um, the game outside of the aim part of itself, like where positioning, how to use the guns, how to use the corners and play effectively, swing, all that kind of stuff. All of that knowledge transfers over, but <coughs> not the actual mechanics of the game itself. The way that I would do it is just make it an option to do both, and then everyone's obviously just going to choose PC. So then they just make that choice themselves rather than forcing them. Yep. Um, so if, you know, COD, good, World League is, is watching this stream, that is my professional opinion. And I think, uh, the, <clears throat> I think they still have a contract with PlayStation that I think they're waiting for. Okay. Uh, once that contract with PlayStation is up, um, then they're looking, and you know, Activision or Microsoft owns uh, my Activision Blizzard now, and they still do a contract with, with PlayStation to do that. So we'll see how what that looks like in the future. Uh, anything we have at this point is just guessing, like the rest of you. We don't mm -hmm. have any insider information, but we're gonna head in game here in a second right now. All right, perfect. All right, coach. I want to see big things. Uh, it looks like they've got a nice mix of both teams. Yeah. Um, try. I think they. I think during the warmups, they were kind of uh, balancing teams similar to the way you would in like a tryout system. Yeah, I think they swapped Nikki with Llama with an RPG. If I would guess. I believe That's so. What it looks like, anyways. Correct. Yeah. Uh, well, I personally uh, am not a COD player. I have watched every game this year. So I exactly, I know that Caracas and Auto are going to pop off with MC50 kind of being in the supportive cast. And I think they're currently in game when I just see the scoreboards there. Yes, I only see, oh, I, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice production there. Um, so it appears that uh, the A team I like how it's all Alpha and Bravo because uh, it's uh, A team and B team. Uh, yes, is is lining up perfectly here. So uh, it appears that the B team is currently in the lead here, just with lives. Yeah. Um, so this is search and destroy. So it's one life only mode. So mm -hmm. the players, uh, once you lose your life for the round, you are done. It's, it should be. Let's see if MC50 here is going to be able to pull off that uh, that one v three. 
1v3 uh, is extremely difficult because you have the element of surprise in the first one, but after that, everyone knows where you are. So yes. uh, he's playing it smart here. We're just essentially changing position instantaneously after getting a kill to maybe, you know, have that element of surprise for at least one more person. Is but he gonna? No, he's not here, going gonna to. Oh, he does die. Let's go. Okay, okay. I really want oh. to 50. Woo, sheesh. Y yeah. Um, like I said, we, we, that first kill is always the element of surprise. They have no idea where you are, and then you know the rest of the team knows exactly what side of the map you're on. So yep. it's extremely difficult to uh, to get any more kills after that. So no. So uh, what do you think here? B teams picks up the first. Uh, our mostly B team picks up the first round. Yes. So we do a... have a ringer. Saint uh, Saint is non uh, non FSU player helping fill out the lineup for uh, today's show match. So. Uh, I've heard good things, um, but we're going to focus on our FSU players here. Yeah, I think uh, they, they got a couple big double kill early um, that ended up working in the favor of uh, Bravo, Team Bravo here. I think that, uh, you know, man advantage is absolutely massive in this game mode, um, obviously, because you can't respawn. But it, uh, it appears to be down to a 2v3 very quickly after the first initial pick on the airstrike. And uh, Caracas is not starting off the great greatest here in this uh show match i was gonna say last game but it's not his last game just yet um, correct mc50 oh, picking up a, a nice kill oh oh okay oh, so close um having the, that advantage of of the spectators being able to see the, through the walls uh leads okay. to a lot of situations where, where you would obviously do something different right but again uh that's literally the, the uh one of the easiest ways to cheat in this game would be to uh we'll have wall hacks so obviously the Absolutely. players don't see it's that right. for those of you at home it's uh it's frowned upon in all game modes csgo call of duty uh you know except League for Legends. overwatch because uh, uh Widowmaker just has that as well so it, uh, it's but, called a fun and interactive ability yes yes um they finally made it so it, uh, if you kill it it stops it which is which is good Nice. Uh, MC50 actually having a pretty good game here, 4-2 and two currently in two rounds, with his team losing is actually just an, an amazing performance coming out of him so far. Um, it's very difficult to see, for me personally, which uh, team is attacking where, because they always like to fan out immediately testing the d defense, and it yes. uh, looks like they're trading up pretty equally. Caracas is left, see if he's got any magic missing left. Peace, Saint versus Caracas. Oh, he saw, he saw, he does know, he is aware. But the footsteps are... Oh, no, no, that was down, uh, even further below than... Oh, he does know, he does know. Nice pick up there from Karaka, but he gets picked up again. Ah, uh, by Saint. It's starting to feel a little unfortunate um, for the uh, the A team here. Um, just the, the early round's not going their way. They're losing a lot of 1v1s and, and, and 2v1s. And um, it's... Uh, it's not looking so good right now. I know there's a lot of games still to play, but uh, going down 3-0 convincingly is uh, kind hey, of they're, a uh, start. They're sandbagging is what I heard. That's what. Uh -huh. got, got all in the DM <laughs> saying, hey, want to make the spectators have some fun at home, so we're going to make this as interesting as possible. That's actually nobody said that, just, just in case anybody was wondering. Ooh, okay. Karaka, Karaka taking sees a dangerous three here. peek. What he sees three is there's a whole lot of information that he gets to uh, learn real fast. Um, he still sees everyone in this general area. So everyone's starting to rotate back over here to this bomb site. He knows, but it's not able to pick it up enough. MC50, Otto, and Nikki West all alive. It's a, it's a 3v1 now. And the A-team finally gets a win. Let's go. Absolutely. Great and, play uh, here from Nikki West to clean it up. As the graphic says, it's uh, first to six wins. So uh, the uh, B team is halfway there. The A team picking up their first round, which means we could have up to, uh, you know, five or not. Wow. Dude, number one rule, never do math on stream. Up yes, to I, <laughs> I, have, I avoided as much as possible. I did, uh, didn't even agree with you, so. Yes. And that's coming from an accounting major. Anyways, um, so it looks like they're going towards this A bomb site. This A bomb site seems like to be the popular choice here. Um, the only thing I'm a little con confused with, it seems like they're holding up really far, but the bomb's in an advanced position. And like the rest of the team is in a building behind them. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're like aware 
I mean, they yeah, I don't know the uh, the strategy here. Looks like Karaka going to try to pick up missing piece here. Not able to quite get it. For those of you who are just tuning in, uh, I was informed shortly before the stream that the West Point match has been rescheduled for next week. Uh, and today today's match will be a show match between A team and B team. So, unfortunately for those who are tuning in to see that match, come back on March 13th and you guys will be able to see that uh, on that day as well. We will, we will make a uh, oopsie whoopsie tweet here uh, after this game as well. Oh, looks like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's another one of those information is, is is vital. They they heard him go into the the bomb site, and uh, as soon as you hear someone go into the bomb site, you just know that send everyone to that place. It's the yeah. last person with the bomb. So absolutely, great communication on Bravo side. All right, would you say that it's easier to defend or attack on this map? <laughs> that is obviously a... the defenders got the <laughs> balance here. Uh... I whatever I say, I don't think it would be found in, okay. in, in enough information to, to justify saying it. Let's put it that way. I, okay. I have played a decent amount of Vanguard, but a search and destroy is not my game type. Me either. I was always a Modern Warfare 2 uh, deathmatch kind of person. Uh, okay. I just and, like and that's those, a good uh, throwback for everybody. I like yeah those control, uh, control any respawn game mode basically effectively because it's a mm -hmm. Call of Duty right. If I'm playing something tactical, uh, I'll play a tactical focus game. Uh, but if I'm playing Call of Duty, I'm trying to Trying to close my eyes and, and uh, pull the trigger and hope to get somebody. Yes. It doesn't always Run matter. forward. Yes. yes. And uh, that was But uh, that's, of course, not so what these players are doing. Thinking tactically, thinking about where they want to position, the movements, rotations, spawns even. Uh, spawn flipping, is a, that's a thing that Call of Duty that I'm not familiar with in any other game, um, which is which is kind of a cool, once you get to the higher level, uh, recognizing what spawns you want to be, where you need to stand on the map in order to flip those spawns as well, is, uh, is a cool factor of strategy that not a lot of people kind of read into when they're casually watching the game. Yeah, and that's something that I learned a lot about when I was in Caracas' stream during uh, during the season. He would just like, randomly talk about flipping spawns, and I'm going to go do this, I'm going to do that. And just the, it's no longer the, uh, you know, like as I say, the motto are for two days where you just run around and I think people and yes. listening to kids screaming in the microphone. Um, this is a lot more tactical, a lot more, especially now that they added a more competitive aspect to it. Back in the day, we were all just having fun, getting Correct. You know, prestige 10 and uh, making people rage. Um, yes, and I think that's that's a good thing, right? A lot of people want to get better. They want to play these competitive style games, um, and, and in the new Call of Duty gives them the opportunity to do so. It gives us a cooler spectating experience too, when when people are good and and when the uh, kind of meta gets refined with what guns to use and, and how to use them and where to position correctly. Bomb has gone down. I think I believe that's the first bomb plant of the night. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah, double swing at the same time will finish it up. Now all you have to do is defuse. Uh, a little bit of a team kill there as well. Um, just, yes. uh, you know. Not sure if intentional. Making, but, uh, I think uh, Lama think wanted to get the defuse, so he yes. uh, made okay. sure that he got the defuse. <laughs> uh, I think that's what happened there. Um, <laughs> I want to be the hero. No, I want to be the hero. I, yeah. So uh, that is a 6-1 to one for the, uh, the B team, obviously with a ringer. But, um, yeah, no, uh, surprisingly one-sided personally um it's one of those things where i feel like the search and destroy just one or two good picks just wins you rounds and it just seemed like the the b team got those picks that they needed and Absolutely. um yes yeah, so it was uh hopefully we get to see a little bit more competitive games with the respawn game modes but we will see yeah let's uh I, let's i don't know I'm sure they're all talking together, figuring out what the plan for the next map is. But in the meantime, I'm going to come back to our wonderful faces. So, hey, it's us again. You, you could say that. <laughs> yes, of course. But uh, while we're waiting for that, I want to give you guys a little heads up. Make sure to tune in for the Michigan Bandwidth Bowl April 13th. Or April 23rd and April 24th. Sorry, April 13th is my birthday. Um, but April 23rd will be the first day of the Bennett Bowl. And April 24th is the, the grand finals day. There's big news coming out for that as soon as we get some paperwork done. Uh, waiting on the other other team for that. But big announcements for that. Um, for those of you who know, you know. Uh, I'm pretty excited. And I'm excited to have a lot of the teams. This is the most support that we've had for the Bennett Bowl this year. Um, 
both from from the Ferris ad, admin side of things and from the community. Community has been asking for, asking me about it all year. Like, hey, when is this going to be? What does the rules look like this year? And I think a lot of people are pretty excited to play this year. And we've got a lot more competitive teams uh, coming from a lot of teams. So or a lot of a lot of universities. It's going to be pretty exciting to watch. But as I say that, we're heading into Berlin. Nice short little pause. It's, uh, didn't have to fill any dead space, so that's it's where I like. Uh, and uh, just remember, there's always opportunities for casting. I, I said I was gonna, you know, segue that in there somewhere, but uh, we are looking for casters for all games. So next semester, if you are looking for, you know, opportunities to, uh, you know, cast games and talk about video games in front of your friends, uh, feel free absolutely. to reach out. And yes, I'm sure we'll find something for you. I know as much as Coach Mans and I absolutely love being here, we want to get you guys the experience as the students. Uh, out here doing this kind of stuff, having some fun, building those resumes. Even if it's not something you want to go into, uh, it's public speaking practice at the end of the day as well, at the bare minimum. Okay, so this is Hardpoint, which uh, personally a favorite game mode of mine. Um, it's yes. uh, control the center, but then also the center moves, and uh, it's all about holding angles and, and defending lines of sight. So um, as uh, as you can see, that one player just watching the window, that's their full responsibility is to watch the window. So then you just have to get into a 1v1 gunfight to uh, see if you can just Flash be better. Man. Was good from Karaka. Karaka identifying the enemies where they're going to be. Ooh, cheeky sightline there. Obviously uh, intentional from the game devs, but Karaka probably calling out Nikki's spot here. Jumps in on her. Does take her out there. And I, I, I've seen Karagas play this game mode more than anything else. And uh, yes. I don't know if it's like a personal favorite of his or not. It does but appear to be I so. Know. I'd be willing to, uh, to say so. He's, uh, it's one of those, you know where the enemy's going to be at all points. They're either attacking it or they're, they're defending <sighs> it. So, yes, uh, Karagas is very good. Very, very good. And uh, we are sad that he is graduating, but happy that he is graduating all at the same yes. time. So back for your master. He's Sam. just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're watching this. He's back. just on an absolute tear, going seven and one right now with a seven kill streak. He looks like he's getting another one here too. And at this point, you, you just gotta mark him. You gotta find him where he is. In this nice flank. You should see the gun in the corner there. Gets another one. Ten yeah, kill streak. Absolutely going point. insane. Hopefully, we get to see some of those kill streaks kind of come out here. Yeah, that's what he's running to the docks for. I'm going to bet. Just kidding. I don't know what I'm talking about. Nah, he's I probably going to wait for the hard point to flip. The hard point uh, flips right now. Yes. I'm trying to clear. Here's a player up above. Oh, he's going for the assassination. Oh, no. No, he does no, it to him. No. Oh, Caraco. Well, once again, oh. the assassination. Oh. The Someone clip it. Someone <laughs> clip it. Oh. That's going oh, up that on was... Twitter. So everybody in the chat say hello, Twitter. <laughs> and I'm sure it'll be in a YouTube montage somewhere as well. So hi, YouTube, while we're at it. And, uh, <laughs> at that point, Krakas just doesn't mind giving over two quick kills. He's probably still laughing and uh, reliving that, you know, 11 kill streak he just had. So um, at, at this point, uh, this game doesn't mean anything. So it's okay to have a little bit of fun in these games. It's not all about, you know, making sure you secure the dub against your B team. But there's a little bit of pride on the line. You know, Krakas doesn't want to lose to the B team. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just, I just love that the cameras just stayed on Caracas the entire time. We're all waiting for something crazy to happen. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, uh, I can control that. So if we want to see other people, uh, we will move around as well. Uh, no, I'm perfectly happy here. Uh, also got distracted by <laughs> chat. They are doing prediction about a haircut for me. So shout out to whoever, whoever started that one. But, uh, uh, they are aware that you don't have hair, correct? I believe uh, that is the joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I'm, uh, I... I don't know. It's it's one of those things. Krakas is, is a two game uh, esports athlete. Currently plays on both the A team and the B team. Uh, the A team for the League of Legends team and the A team for the COD team. Um, and uh, he he will definitely be missed next semester. I don't want to like get ch too choked up about this right now. So John, I'll start talking. No, of uh, course, of course. <laughs> we're always happy to see our players graduate. Right. Um, it's something that I've said before. Uh, we're, we're happy when, when good people go out and graduate from the program and, and get good jobs in the industry. So that's, that's what you're here for at school. A lot of, you know, a lot of people when, when talking to like high schoolers or when I talk to them, they're just like, yeah, I can't wait to go here and like play games and do all this stuff. And it's like, yes, of course, that's going to be a fun part of your experience. But at the end of the day, uh, why are you in college to, to get a better, 
uh, job out in the industry and uh, to get your education in order to get that better job. So um, come here, get your homework done first, then have fun, uh, play video games with your friends, right? So that, that's a big part of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the blue team is definitely making a push for this point. Uh, the B team was defending it quite well, uh, holding all the corners. You saw a bunch of nades coming through. That's would be probably the most nerve-wracking part of the entire thing, watching a grenade just fly by your face. But, yes. Um, the the B team has recaptured the hard point, and uh, this seems like a very hard, like difficult point to recapture, considering it's like oh, two you can see all those oh, corners no. you can you can hide behind. Um, and I'm just like just looking at the kill feed. It's it's always goes in order. It's hilarious. It's all blue, then all red, then all blue, and then all red. Like they're just trading kills over and over again. They're, they're so um, familiar with where they're gonna be that they, they make coordinated pushes and flush them out. Well, I mean, you have to assume that. I know Nikki has played a few games for the A team this year, and Correct. and she has to know that um, you know where these players like to play and the corners like the hold and stuff like that. So. Um, I don't know if there's a little bit of information being shared about where people are going to be hiding, but um, I assume it's a pretty generic thing as well as the, the angles that people hold as well. So, yeah, I bet the, um, the longer you teams play on the maps and they know the better positions to hold in and how to counter those holds as well. Yeah, things get figured out. And yes, uh, yep. Um, this wasn't a game mode when I was playing Call of Duty, but I feel like this would also be one of my favorite game modes as well. Oh, absolutely. Um, it's so fun when I get a chance to play too. Non-stop action, and, and the action is changing, right? It's not just one specific spot on the map where it's kind of solved. You constantly have to know. And, and the nice part about this is the rotation is actually set. It's always the same exact rotation, so you know where you're going to have to go first. And then you know, when, okay, hey, uh, well, there's only 10 seconds left or 15 seconds left. Let's rotate. Let's set up for the next spawns, and let's lock this next spot down. You know, we can give up 10 seconds to guarantee that we get the first 30. Yeah, absolutely. Um Looking for a pick that uh, it's crazy with the like the map packs you just like uh oh uh oh da -da, da -da, yes, da -da. Yes. like shark dramatic shark music in the background um and one thing that i, I learned is that the uh the knife isn't a, a normal thing in this these loadouts people have like pistols as their secondary so just running around knifing people isn't like a normal thing for vanguard which i feel like distracts from the game personally because that was my mm -hmm. favorite thing to do in modern warfare 2 just right. around start knifing people um but that extra kill the way the game from, from having that pistol too is just so yes. people are better now and so they will be able to kill you before you get to them with you within that knifing range and a lot of times too yeah, you'll see the pistol come out when they get a couple shots off uh with their primary weapon and they're either not confident in the amount of bullets their primary weapon has left and the time to kill on that bullet or on that pistol uh, will be high enough to get them before the other person can you know while they're reloading well, if both of them trade like three quarters of a clip uh, you don't want to peek again with with a couple bullets left and you're just going to switch to the pistol uh, and remember switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading absolutely and uh you don't want to get caught reloading either because that's very awkward <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, I also feel like this game promotes camping, playing corners, and uh, that was also my personal favorite thing to do in Modern Warfare. So that's good. That's, uh, so that's my only Call of Duty experience is, you know, back in high school. It ages me a little. Uh, yeah, so like just playing years Call of Duty. ago or something, I think. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No. So back to the game the uh alpha team is is up just uh 20 points or so and um it gonna get a, it goes to 250 right or i do believe so 200 250 okay. is correct uh okay again i see i've been watching games um so about halfway there with, with three minutes left um hard points flipping one more time with the red team picking up a whole lot of kills like i said it's, it's one of those that it seems like they just kind of wait for them to leave the the, the point as well and just kill them on the way out and then start right to their point is what i'm personally observing here yep so auto currently 1916 karaka 2315 mc 50 16 and 14 and airstrike uh only two down with that 15 and 17 so alphas team alpha here uh actually quite a bit positive in the kd there but it's not about kills. It's all about objective points. Correct. Just when I used to tell my teammates. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And especially uh, in game modes like this, it's so much so about uh, controlling that space. Right. That's all that matters. You can get a thousand absolutely. kills, but if the other team stands on the point for two hundred or two hundred fifty seconds, then uh, then it's GG's. Yeah. Wow. So 
Let's start talking a little bit more about the the B team. Who are you uh, hopeful that uh, that moves up here? And the uh, I know you, you pointed out Llama initially, but um, I know Nikki's filled in a, a few games and was kind of the IGL for the B team. Um, maybe just a straight IGL for IGL swap, maybe. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for the future? To, to see pretty much everybody on this team. They've all gotten so much better over the course of this past year, um, and a lot of them are, are freshmen and sophomores, so we have a lot of time with them, uh, help improve them, help them get better. Uh, or over time and bring them up to the level uh, you know that Karak is when he's graduating so you know, that's one thing too a lot of teams you'll see like oh hey you know look at look how good our team is this year but um, you know you can kind of lose that all very quickly if everybody graduates at the same semester so it's good to have a have a good mix and, and be consistently bringing people in into the program uh, when they're when they're young um, and then you know having them graduate out of the program as well so that's that's a cool part about college sports in general um, and that translates directly into college sports as well yeah. So I know that was Karakas' favorite spot when he plays on stream. That's the, the point that he sits at. He's almost yes. at a 2KD as well, which is absolutely nuts um, for game modes like this. Um, and they're going to go ahead and secure the win. Um, uh, a pretty impressive display going, what, 31 and 16 on a control point, which is yes. uh, like absolutely insane. So. Um, it got the final kill rather than the play of the game, which is a little unfortunate. But um, okay. yes, um, even on the other side, not super bad score lines. Um, but again, just the the A team really clutching out there. Um, it was fairly even through the beginning of the game, and then about halfway, I kind of just skewed. Like I said, it was, it was twenty points off, which is essentially one hard point, and then boom, it's it's. Sometimes you it just get what, in that rhythm, you feel yourself, and. You kind of just go, hey. You know, once you get in a groove, it's, it can be a lot, it can be hard for the other team to kind of take you out of that. And, and the opposite is true too, right? Um, if you're kind of falling out of your groove and you go, ah, oh, what's going on? I'm frustrated. Let me change a little bit here. Let me change a little bit there. And next thing you know, you've changed up so much, much uh, that you've, you've you've gotten off your game a little bit. It looks like they're going to be taking a quick five minute break here. So us on broadcast are doing the same. One thing I want to say to everybody out there in the community, we're looking for people uh, to help out. We're wanting to do a lot more content for the stream. Why kind of push the limits of the stream um, and kind of kind of flex a lot what we can do here at Pharisee Sports. And part of that is coming up with like mini commercials. We're going to be talking a lot more about graduating seniors, um, current people on the teams as well. So expect a lot more cool content pieces to kind of come out of the stream. But if you have any ideas, we're always open to ideas. Uh, tweet at us on Twitter, DM us on Twitter, talk to us in Discord. Um, you know who we are. Don't forget to follow us at Ferris Esports on Twitter as well. So make sure to, you know, reach out to us, let us know. And if you have any expertise or want to, you know, even if you don't know anything about Photoshop, you don't know anything about video editing, but you want to help out, um, I actually teach classes here at Ferris on actually both of those. So I, I will uh, literally qualified to help you help you do that. So reach out to me and I would be so happy to help you build those kind of experiences. Uh, we're looking for people to write um, kind of like sports pieces. So, you know, if they're a sports game, uh, especially at the college level, they'll write like, here's, how the here's who they played, here's how they did. Uh, here's a player or two that did really well um, and then we'll kind of post that to the website we're looking to kind of build a pipeline for that as well so if you have any skills um, or want to learn any skills that that you think could benefit us please reach out to me and let's kind of get those things rolling uh, kind of build a framework so next year headed into the rest of this year uh, the summer and next year we can kind of get that pipeline built out and be a content powerhouse here at Bears Esports. Do you have anything to say before we go to quick break coach man? Yeah, so me and Coach Eaton here don't have to do all of it between the two of us. Yes, Perfect. we yes. are doing everything we can, yes. but there's only so much time <laughs> in the day that we can get a lot more done with your help. Perfect. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, here is the uh, move-in video. Hey, Bulldogs, it's move-in 2020. Let's see how the students are getting settled in.
So, uh, yeah, the break was a little bit quicker than I expected. And they uh, ready to, they said, I apparently said, I think they asked if they wanted a break, and I assumed it would be yes. Uh, but they said no, and said, let's go. So, we're back with another match here. This is going to be control. Both uh, the and attacking team has to control um, both points for a long enough time. Yes. And there's 30 lives in total, so whoever runs out of lives or gets the points. Correct. Um, so you can't play too safe, but you also play, have to play safe enough to where you're just not throwing. And this is where one player can absolutely just throw everything for your entire team. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I have seen it happen so. in their uh, actual official matches where the other teams will just have one player just running it down. And uh, <laughs> they just, you know, they have a good player who's died like two, through two or three times and then another guy with like 12 and 13. And you're just like, dude. Like just you know, it'd be better off if you stood in the corner and just let me let me handle it. So, which is I mean, as you can see right now, the blue team hasn't lost a single alive, but then the uh, the B team's already lost six. And there we go. There, there's kills being traded over again. Um, this is a little bit slow over game mode for as far as Call of Duty is concerned. Um, not nearly as slow as Search and Destroy, but more cautious than all the other game modes where you just kind of throw your body for information and try and get some some objective points and stuff um the only change it seems like in the teams was airstrike for nikki wise um is the only thing that i'm noticing um i think it was that way last time i honestly not often no because i sure. no. okay i i i've <laughs> I've been very bad at keeping track of teams. I, I, that's one of my goals, but apparently I am failing. Um, so it appears that the A team has control of B point right now. And this map has got buildings everywhere. So I assume that the submachine guns would be extremely good on these maps, considering yes. all the type corners. and That A point um, can be a little bit uh, a little bit longer sight lines, but this B point especially is, is very tight. Looks like Team Alpha, Blue Team about to full cap here. Their wave where is coming. Otto picks out Saint early. Oh, and picks up Alama. They only need one more. Oh, no, just kidding. Respawns coming back in. Nikki West putting some pressure. Not enough in order to wow. force him off. Uh, surprisingly quick round. Um, and I I didn't mean that like in a mean way, but like normally these go the full distance of time, Correct. Uh, like you know full three minutes. This was a, a minute and a half, so um, so impressively fast. Um, I'm I'm used to seeing these go the full time, and then you know people struggling to get onto the point to to delay the timer. Um, yeah, so I agree 100 they it's, yeah, it can, a lot of it just goes back and forth and back and forth. With not nobody able to cap, mm -hmm. so. Let's see if it's the same way. Uh, yeah. They are flipping sides here as well. Um, at this point, the Alpha side knows that they're trying to cap A. And let's see if they can get there in time. There's already two progress ticks made already. Before they can even contest it, it's almost full capped already. Um, it seems that blue side has already gained control of the capture point and is starting to lower the progress. It only lowers to the second tick, correct? Yes, uh, yes okay, it'll, it'll drop down to the, the last tick that it was at. Perfect. And lives are even currently. And uh, it seems like a pretty massive disadvantage for the blue side having to run essentially all the way across the map to get anywhere close to the uh, Yeah, that A side, point. that A point falls very quickly, quite a bit. Yeah, got Saint on a killing spree here. Going ahead and using a kill streak. I'm sure we'll see someone get rocketed here shortly. Did he miss or okay. <laughs> yeah he did miss, I believe. Okay. I was gonna say I saw the explosion, but I didn't see anybody die. Um unfortunate Krakas walks out the door and finds two enemies right in his face. Um the lives are even right now, which like I said, significantly uh more even game. Um Usually it's defender's advantage, but with that first point being so far in advance of the attackers, I'm, I'm not surprised that it's kind of stalled out here now. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's server latency. It looks pretty latent from my point of view. I don't know if that's just me or... Uh, like, like, Croc is running into the door there for a second? Yeah, uh, yeah so I don't <laughs> think it's just me anymore. <laughs> um... And, and as all games, lag is incredibly impactful. And um, yes, 
It was a good pick though as far as Karakas. Getting those players hiding in the point. And it looks like he's pushing forward a little bit. I okay. Sometimes it can be I, nice to hold it, those those cheeky aggressive angles. They're not ready for it. You can clear some more time up, but wasn't able to make it work. I wasn't that. ready for it either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, he's just dead, dead I guess. Okay. Um, it's a nice little overlooking point there, and seeing the players hiding behind the pillar. Um, lives evened out to nine. This is getting extremely close. One tick left on the control point with 30 seconds left. It's going to come down to, obviously, the last 30 seconds is it's probably the most profound thing I've said the entire stream. Um, <laughs> got to check the corner there. And uh, <laughs> lives now seven to six with 20 seconds left on the control point. Um, you have Airstrike just sitting on the point there waiting to see if he can catch anybody just trying to flank. And he's going to go ahead and see uh, Lava well, with an RPG. Here by auto. Yep. Trades. 10 seconds left. Ooh. Oh. Just no response check. remaining for the A team. And so, that's one of those situations okay. where you can just feel the controller, right? He wanted to check back on that left corner and then check back to the door, but the slowness there, unfortunately. 3.4 seconds left with one person left. Oh, the, the Bravo team wins it. The last, like... 10 seconds were super intense because they're trading kills back and forth and then all of a sudden none of them had response and it's just like oh crap we have to make this count yes and uh yes uh, it's it it's the kind of a 10 situations that all of us kind of just live for in games right the the high pressure moments of like it, you have to perform or else and uh i was really happy to see the uh the, the b team pull it out there And the A team once again attacking. It's the same point, same map. Um, they seem like their attacks a little bit slower than the uh, the B teams was. And point blank pistol kill there from Caracas. That was a big pickup. Oh, I, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying so, to uh, spread the love. In case you're curious, Caracas won the gunfight, even though we changed immediately after he appeared on the screen. Um, uh, Caracas is on a bit of a killing streak spree right now as well. Uh, he has the moment four I right now. And then he's gonna get. Oh, he he's gonna get the point too. Man does it all. He, he, you know, takes care of the enemies and the points. Uh, now this is the obviously the more difficult point to hold. Uh, didn't go for the execution there. I'm a little disappointed. Krakas he's down on five kill streak now. Looks just hold the uh, passageway for his team, waiting for his team to catch back up because all of them are on the re respawns right now. Karaka doing it all right now. Absolutely crying. Had the SMG out, wasn't able to get the long range kill with it. Um, I, still a minute 30. The thing is, it's 17 lives, 16 lives over for Bravo. That's kind of a pretty massive disparity in the uh, lives remaining. Uh, last round, we saw that they were even almost all the way through, but um, yeah, it's a, a totally viable option just to play for lives as well, Absolutely. rather than going for the control points, as long as you can get them in the, the time required. And being up seven lives is a, like a, a lot of lives. Everyone can die once, and uh, that's, that's not a challenge, 18. Yes, that's just yes. a fact, please. Please hold it together. Uh, <laughs> um, the B team is starting to trade back a bunch of kills right now. Um, obviously, they are running into them defending the point, so it's easier to uh, to get kills that way rather than running into the A point like they were. Uh, Karak says, who's just a 1v1? Um, not something you say very often. Um, the Correct. lives differential is back down to 5 with 50 seconds left. It looks like it's going to be another uh, intense finish here. Or they could just win on lives and completely prove me wrong. Uh, don't do math. Don't make predictions. Yes. Casting 102. Uh, Good pickups there. Glide bomb coming in from C. Straight. Yep. We uh. We... He gets one MC50 on the point with it. Um, however, there's three lives left, so so missing piece isn't coming back. Um, who's on the map is going to be on the map. Both Saint and Nicky Wives, the only two players left with nine respawns left for the A team. Oh, Saint takes a bunch of damage, doesn't end up going down. Oh, all right, I'll rewatch. At, and at this back. point, is Saint has happen? his last alive with eight. No, this is this is impossible. Saint's got the team on his back. 
This is actually 1v7. just 1v7. Is it a 1v7? There's no, it's not. It's no, he's not gonna do it. Oh no, okay. Oh, that was so close. We uh, wanted I mean, the storyline. Absolutely. If it was like three lives, 1v3 or something, 1v5 even, it's like, you know, everyone gets at least one chance plus one, but um, that's But everybody gets two chances, it's a different of a game, that's for sure. Yes, especially when you know where he is. So obviously, back to the information, having information of where someone is, it's a, it's a lot harder to, to sneak up on someone and get a surprise kill if they know exactly where you are. So... Um, Another profound statement. I'm, I've really got a bunch of these going today. Um, of course. Uh, so, uh, absolutely. Comes sure, with all, age. All, all you know? your, yeah, all of your wise years. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You stole the joke from me. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, now, so Saints pick it up right where he left off last game. It seemed like he just used that last game as a warm up to uh, practice his 1v9 skills. And uh, I guess 1v8, considering. Uh, 1v7. Don't do math on stream, guys. Um, 1v7 skills. Um, and that is a league reference. Um, anyways, so uh, the A team's down in lives and B team already capped being the attacking team this time. So not in a great position for the A team. Um, I, you know, we can just say that they felt bad after that last round, but. Uh, you never let the foot, your foot off the gas. Missing piece looking in the wrong direction as Caracas just runs up through the stairs. Yes. Sorry, I yawned as soon as you. Unlucky timing. But yeah, he's so holding <laughs> down the point here. Nikki, 18 and 16, uh, positive this game. Uh, she's been playing pretty well, holding this off angle behind Tank here. And, the, and that's essentially just to prevent the flank from the B site. So she's holding the angle so that no one comes up and surprises uh Auto or wait no wrong team comes up and surprises the, the rest of the team missing piece llama um, picks up a few more kills mainly because they just have no idea she's here um, they know she's there now you, you see MC50 yeah, going should. hunting for that position oh but she's aware oh almost gets the trade but not quite uh, it's another one of those situations where they flip spawns to where the, the blue team was, was spawning closer to the B site and still are currently. You can see Bravo's spawning on the opposite side of the map, which should make it fairly easy for them to cap this B point, which they've already started right now. Um, which is, it appears Lamo uh, with an RPG is the only person on the side of the map when he just gets taken down. Uh, the B team's starting, or not B team, sorry, Alpha is, is, is starting to gain control. Words are difficult. Control over this B point. They they have their defensive position set up. They've already started capping the point, and they started getting a bunch of the lives back as well, which is the most important part. Uh, the, the live difference, only three now um, as they cap the point with bringing it 30 seconds two. left. Auto with a big play. Which, at, with Krakus leaving, that's the one person I'm definitely expecting to step up a lot. Is Otto's kind of just been like, you know, the, the partner in crime to Krakus this entire season. And, and now with him gone, we're, I'm really hoping that he steps up. And uh, we'll see. He's on a three kill streak right now. I get four there. Can he pick up the fifth? Nope, just kidding. Gets one there. There you oh, go. So... Oh, he's got five seconds left, though, to cap this oh. point. Try. Oh, one. Someone get on the point, please. They, They're just they not gonna unlucky. get unlucky. They were they um, were assuming that I bet you the calls came through comms like, hey, I'm gonna finish up A, you guys push B, and then the person on A got killed off. Which is definitely an unfortunate feeling. I know how that goes. Final kill here. Quick Dinkerton from Otto. I don't know, man. That feels like a win trade to me personally. That that feels <laughs> like they just kind of like gave up. And, no, and, I've like, made that call yeah. in Overwatch before. Where we're like, hey, oh, you guys stay on the, you guys like, well, you'll have one or two people stay on the point while the rest of you push up to like get the right spots, and then something crazy happens, and the people on the point like either C9 just jump off or just actually die, and the rest of your team's just like out of position and to get back, and you're just like, oh, <laughs> what do you mean we're not on the point? Yeah, <laughs> no, that I'm I'm still that's. Suspicious to me personally. I don't know. Oh yeah, they're uh, uh, they're win <laughs> trade in the show match. Somebody call the somebody call Vegas. Let's <laughs> let's get the the lines adjusted in here. So uh, yeah, I yeah no, I mean obviously that's not what happened. There was probably just a, a communication error, like you said. But that, when you see weird stuff like that happen, I'm, you get a little suspicious. You know, maybe just all for good and fun. Just you know, yes. oh darn. 
I, so. uh, I'm willing to bet that the, the the fair state crimson or the the fair state versus versus uh, bulldogs show match is uh, is a, is very much a for fun environment. Yes, which is which is what we're looking for. We're not looking to to crush one side or the other. Of so, uh, I just hope that you know uh, this is the very cliche line. I just hope everyone's having fun, and 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 I just uh, that it's what it's all about, right? Of we're course. we're competitive to a point, but if you're not having fun, why are you doing it? So, yep. um, yes, I'm. Um, it seems like everyone's having fun too. No one's going crazy, negative, or team killing and stuff like that. So, it seems like we have a fairly good environment so far. Definitely, definitely. Let's see. Is uh, this another one of those five-minute break situations where we go right back in the game, or is this one of those situations they, that they uh, are in the lobby? So I don't expect to. I think they're just doing uh, the team switch reuse right now, and then we'll head back okay. in shortly. So I uh, don't see any messages in the chat about a break. What? Okay. That doesn't. Mean what map's the next map then? Is this Berlin a, be a team search and destroy? Is what I oh, okay. see here, but they already did that, so I don't know. If they haven't adjusted, okay. if they just haven't got to that yet. I mean, can we just have a four fun gun game or something, or, or just you know, do they have still? Do they still have gun game? Please tell yeah, me they have gun yeah. game. I'm okay. ninety nine percent sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm like ninety nine percent sure. So just do a four fun gun game. Just you know, I know it's not very team team you know teamwork um, oriented, but four fun show matches are four fun. So that's of definitely course. a four fun game mode. So. I don't know how much fun now that there aren't the the, the tactical shooting lights or anything like that, but you know, it's my personal favorites. Of course. So. Uh, yeah, um, I'm excited to to kind of shape up this uh, this incoming team here and uh, see what they can do for the next for the next year. I know all all of our teams plan on or the teams that I've talked to at least plan on practicing over the summer, um, which is going to be fantastic and going to come into next fall more polished than we've ever been before so i gotta find a team for next summer <laughs> yes yes we Bear uh, State we're, we're... is recruiting uh we're recruiting for all of the games that we play rocket league overwatch league of legends um valorant cs go we're trying to get an actual team together if you play cs go please find us on campus um i'm missing a game i always miss a game I, it's I, always I... a different game and it drives me nuts um but I and plenty yeah. more. So sorry if I gotta write that stuff up before. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, no. Well, uh, I know I know what games we have, but I don't know which ones I've already said. So I don't want to like triple up, but we get there. Mm -hmm. No, it's because like I said, Crox is is graduating. Uh, my our team leader for league is also graduating, so we're losing two players from league, and then um, our our starting mid laner is playing Valorant next semester because it's uh, the the team is needing him and and he enjoys that game significantly more than the, the league changes that have been happening recently with the game so uh we're essentially down to two players right now so uh if you're a league of legends player and you're, you're currently attending ferris please reach out um, absolutely we are we are we currently are, are flat average but we're we're willing to work with you especially since i have the entire summer to work with you we'll we'll get you to where you need to be so correct and i'm the same way with overwatch um my current overwatch team all fantastic people uh, very casual team, and they will admit that as well. So we're looking to recruit um, people who who want to come in and, and um, you know continue to help help the current team improve and and uh, improve themselves as well. So if you're looking to help, uh, you know I do a lot of Overwatch coaching on the side as well. It's something I enjoy doing for fun, um, and, and it's something that I like working with the team and, and helping everybody improve. I like how you put that. They have a lot of fun. <laughs> which is good no, that's, that's the point but i mean uh not all of our games are super competitive and serious i know our, our league team was, was very laid back this year as well um didn't didn't practice as much as i would have liked to obviously but we still like the main goal was always to have fun and we, we made sure that our environment uh you know was was one that allowed us all to have fun so um weren't super strict on champion picks or anything like that or uh we we roll swapped a few times as well during the season just for fun um i know the last game we had uh Rewa playing jungle and Karakas playing mid which is a roll yes. swap there and so i've, I've roll swapped to support and, and let washed up Jin main play to gary and stuff like that so it was um yeah i let mean the washed up Jin main plays plays Jin. let's go always, always banned always banned every time <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no it um I, i'm we might even get a show match of the league team here now that i'm I'm seeing this 
you know, seeing the reaction from from everybody here. So, um, okay. Yes. Hold on. Uh, We're going to cut to a break. I'm going to talk to the team leader about what their plans are next. And we will come back and give you guys uh, the information when I have it. Somebody once said life moves pretty fast, and that's exactly how we like it. First day, first year, you're diving in, head first. Don't just find yourself, make yourself. Want to build something? Great, learn to melt metal with fire, start businesses, build bridges, raise a whole city. Future in fighting crime? Want to save lives? Care for eyes? Do it all here, and here too, side by side with the pros. But you've got to go forward fast. Why? No time to explain. Okay, fine. We'll explain. Because today is now, and tomorrow is soon. And to get ahead of the game, you got to get ahead of your time. See this guy? That's Woodbridge Ferris. He founded this place with purpose to help everyone move forward. Big Rapids? No, bigger. How about the whole state? The country? The world? Forward, not backwards, not sideways, forward. So get moving. Move your ideas. Move others' minds, too. This is your future, your opportunity. So take it and move all of us forward. Hello and welcome back to Ferris Esports. We got the we got the sneak surprise news about uh <laughs> Hi Man's Dog. And uh <laughs> we got we got the surprise news. So we're gonna be running two more matches uh and then we're actually going to have to end the stream unfortunately. Um but we're going to do a show match where, where Coach and I are going to hop in. Coach doesn't have Call of Duty, but he's done it right now is what he told me. So he just <laughs> balled out for it. I know we pay him way too much. So uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm contractually obligated to not talk about how much I get paid. <clears throat> exactly. There you go. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't think that's part of your contract. <laughs> Uh, as I see, I guess I wrote most of it. No, I don't think that is it. But uh-huh. we're going to head into... I don't know what match we're heading into next, and I don't know what the holdup is. But, uh, yeah. Yes. Karaka uh, said he is very sad about you not playing Call of Duty with us. Okay. Well, like I said, if if I had it, sure, but it's not something that I... I my main game is League of Legends, and oh, that's literally all I do. Actually, so, so. We, I could probably play Call of Duty on this machine. And we could stream that for a fun game. I Go just wouldn't for be it. as then good. I'll, then I would solo cast with you. And just, I could you know. cast me playing too. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'll do that. Let's do that. <laughs> you guys are going to get okay. to see. We're going to take. I'm going to go grab a mouse pad when we head back in the game. All right, here. Hold on. I'm going to punch over to the game scene while we talk. Okay. You. Keep. Oh no! Wait, no! I just cut to. We're not in the game scene. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. All right, going to you. All right. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing Coach Eaton play Call of Duty. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I, I know that he's personally challenged himself to be above average in all games, and uh, I've been working with him in league. And man, has it been difficult. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome back. We were just talking about how good you are in all games, including League of Legends. And he still can't hear me. That would have been way better if you could hear me. What did you say? Sorry. Yeah, I oh, I said uh, we were just talking about how good you are at all video games, including League of Legends. Yes, uh, of course. I'm absolutely the best at every game ever. I'm top 1% mm-hmm. in, in two different games, but uh, that's about it. So. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Which is and one of those Hearthstone, if you, if you count that. So. It's, it's, it's way more than I'm top percent in any game. So um, I am... Uh, uh, a dedicated gamer, but not a very good one. Fair enough. So, we'll, we'll put it that way. <laughs> I am above average in every game I've played, but nothing more than that. So, hey, fair. I'm, uh, I'm. My goal is to be above average in every game we offer. So I'm educated enough. I, I watch all the games and I've played all the games, but I want to understand the game enough to be above the casual pleb. That way, I know um, when I get talk to the players and stuff, I can can relate at least a little bit. So. I don't. I still don't see anything in the chat, so I'm not sure. Um. It looks like we had a PC crash, and that's what we're currently waiting on. Mm-hmm. Which is f- 
perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Heads no, up, we're back. So, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Glad I wasn't picking my nose. Anyways, um, I, I'm quickly looking over all of our, our, our talking points again and I uh, want to reiterate again that there are opportunities for next semester on all of our games. Um, and it doesn't matter if you've never played competitive before, you've never played on a team before. Um, if you just wanted to come out and play video games with some people you've never met before, and uh, I know that uh, a bunch of our teams have have all become really good friends. I know, like I said earlier, that um, two of my League of Legends players are actually roommates with each other that you know had didn't meet each other before from different sides of the state and just kind of bonded through League, and now they they live together on campus. So uh, it's it's essentially you know life. My roommate friendships. and I met through playing at the first team. We played on the Overwatch team together. So it, it's it's you know it's very real. It's happened to me as well. Um, all, most I would I would dare say most of my my best friends from from college uh, actually were people I played on the uh, the Overwatch team with as well. So it's it's something that I came here. I didn't you know I didn't even play video games competitively when I when I came to Ferris. I was just like, oh you know I played a lot of traditional sports. I'm like oh, I like competing. Um, fell in love with Overwatch and was just like, hey, esports is is awesome. Let's do this. And, and kind of when I do something, I I go overboard in in research and tilt and play. Uh, it's ten billion hours, so uh, it was kind of natural for me to just kind of hop in head first. I'm thousand percent the same way. Um, so getting into the next map here, uh, I'm I'm really hoping to see a team deathmatch, but I've been told that there's no competitive team deathmatch in any of the the COD leagues. So I'm a little disappointed. Um, but I've seen this map, and I'm pretty sure this is another control point map. Or no, I see the search and destroy search icon, and destroy, so it's search and destroy. Unlucky. Well, for for me personally, um, I, I'm I'm not a massive fan because uh, I enjoy being able to make mistakes and coming back. It appears that someone is not. Oh, they're just taking a while to get out of spawn. I thought someone did connect there for a second. Saint with the first pick on auto gets another one on airstrike, and at this point you kind of just look to, uh, to 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 send both players at one bomb location, um, and they actually have the bomb down. It looks like on the B site. So got that legendary. He sees llama, but he just doesn't know. This, you can see the arm through the window, but because of the the arm looked similar from from where he was sitting. That's again. Well, also, you don't want to shoot to give away your position either, because the second you shoot, they're always going to swarm I you. I do believe that would have been. Uh, again, I don't know. I th I don't know if you saw an arm or torso. So if it's arm, I don't think it's kill. But if I think it's torso, it might be. At this point, like you've got thirty seconds, you're kind of waiting for them because the the defender's going to get a little antsy, looking for some information. They they want to know where they're coming from, um, and with this grenade, they're going to know that oh, they're going for the bomb. He sees him. Okay, Cleans good peek. Up was that Picks the... up his gun, so he isn't just holding it. That was Saint, yes. Um, so 13 seconds left. He's getting shot. He interrupts the bomb plant. Yes, uh, um, we are also get some... for Smash players as well. Sorry, that was random. Side note. No. Okay. And they're going to hear you in three seconds. Oh, no, Caracas, you didn't just try in 360. He just tried in no. 360. No. <laughs> uh, the no. disrespect live on stream denied by Llama with an RPG. To be honest, I'm happy you lost that. You don't do that. Come on, man. I understand it's four fun game modes, but, you know, style no, on my just being better, you know? No, no, uh, you do go for that. I'm the type of player that has some fun <laughs> in these show matches. Absolutely. If I don't have a 360 no scope in this. Oh, with the knife kill. Knife. Clean it up. Thank you. Th finally a knife, dude. I'm, my my Modern Warfare 2, you know, self is very happy with that. Um, that was for those of you who didn't know. There was an entire strategy playing the game where you just run around with all the speed boosts and just snipe yes, people. It was um, awful. Yes, you run around a ghillie suit, light foot, silent, and uh, just run around knifing people. That was my favorite way of playing the game. Um, so one zero up. Even though that the A team went down a couple kills early, two kills early on that B site and lost the bomb, they uh, they ended up getting that round back. Just good to see that they didn't just give up immediately. So they switched sides, so now the B team is attacking. Um, and you can see the, the B bomb is over on the, or B team's bomb is over on the B site. And uh, they don't know that it's on the B site, though. They are unaware. They should see it, no? I'm not. I mean, at that point, you just. Sure. Send everyone to that site and just hold it. 
because you know they need this to win. You have 45 seconds, they have to make a play. Unless it's a gentleman's agreement of like, we're not going to just camp the bomb, we're going to try and have some fun, win some gunfights. Yeah, both Caracas and Airstrike are down for the A-team. It's 3v2, but the bomb is down. Bomb gets picked back up. And nice Nikki gets picks up two MC50. quick kills. MC50 is currently 4-0 and right now. But uh, he's going to have to win a 2v1. Nikki does lock and they up know where he's going as well. Do they, I don't know. Do they have the critical information? I believe Nikki uh, they does. don't know where MC50 is. Well, they do now. But... Um, like I said, when when you're trying to retake a position, you've got the element of surprise for the first person, and then afterwards you have to try and uh, win another gunfight. But they yes. saw the door open there, and Nikki picks up three kills that round, which is actually super impressive, um, wiping you know three quarters of the team. Yeah, especially search and destroy. That's hard to do. Uh, maybe practicing some some mechanics there later. MC50 is. Uh, Getting this, you know, a lot of times it's the, it's the only thing you can do at the beginning, so that is that is okay. definitely not BM. You're just bored, and so you're just pressing all your buttons, and that's it. <laughs> I'm glad that you knew where I was going at. <laughs> um, they get the bomb down super fast on the B site. Um, yeah, interesting to see oh. player come up from airstrike. Crocker getting spotted out, okay. gets the pick. I, Oof, well, that that's was unfortunate. Pretty nuts. Uh, it's actually kind of crazy to shoot them through the wall like that. Um, and now they're they're down two players. The the A team is slowly starting to swarm the, the B site. Um, Got to be careful in transition, though. As you can see, uh, Nikki goes ahead and picks up a kill on Caracas. Um, Could have an MC50 walking into Nikki again. Nikki's going to get another kill. Um, Otto goes and kills Missing Piece. It's all on Nikki's shoulders now in a 2v1 with two seconds left to get to the bomb at this point she just has she to try and kill one. everybody the bomb does go off so that's go one. off yeah close almost pulled it back it's just you know if only your character was just that much faster you know uh to make it across the map but a good hold from the the uh the a team there um again just a few mistakes in, in transition going from from your you know pick location to your uh your bomb site hold position and I just made all of that up. <laughs> I, I trusted you. I'm like, oh, I'm listening. I'm here learning. I'm like, Wait, you don't know what you're talking about. I have absolutely Coach no idea. Coach out here uh, just, just straight up lying. Uh -huh. No, it sounded good, though. Um, no early picks initially. It looking like an A site attack this time. Um, Nikki currently on a six kill streak. So hopefully when we get to 25, we get to see the nuke come out and... Uh, a nuke in a four fun game, you know. Fix up MC50 as well. That she was, sees uh, Karaka. Does she? Oh, no. The... Oh, oh. She does see him. The big snaps. It's Not a... quite able to pick it okay. up. Kill streak over. I was hyping that up and uh, gee, let me down, Nikki. Let me down. Um, the bomb is placed on A in Caracas. Ooh. In Caracas, we trust here. Yes. Um, is it Caracas or Caracas? A is it different in league? Uh, in it... league, it's Caracas, but I I don't know. I just always put an A as the okay, end. Okay. I just I, was... I just want to make sure I'm saying it right after all year. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it right. Good try. He he tries to peek on that aggressive He's... peek. Not quite able to pick it up. I. <sighs> I guess I've always just done the apostrophe S kind of thing because whenever okay. I talk about him, I'm talking about him doing something or okay. his champion yes. or something like that. So, uh, uh, my bad. Uh, no, English no, is my you're... first language, so forgive <laughs> me for you know being American. Um, uh, yeah, as an American, and I can forgive you for that. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all tied up two to two. I assume this is a best of five as well. A first of five. Absolutely. Or first of okay. six. First of six. First of six. Okay. I think. Uh, Karaka's getting up on the high ground, just asking for literally anybody to shoot <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, just uh, was like, opening right, as sure, many perfect. sight lines as possible was the, is the correct correct. There. Correct. Um, yeah, maybe Karaka's like my KD has just been too high. I mean, Saint isn't having any fun, so just you know, give him one. Um, that gr grenade didn't actually make it outside and bounced back. Okay. 
He's just grenading his own team. Oh, oh um, Otto with the ultimate bait, grenading his teammates twice and then trading him. Um, I just, you know, it's it's Otto's world. We're just That's living in it at this yeah. point. He's, it's too, uh, I'm not that good, so. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll trust in his strats, that's for sure. Uh, and MC50 apparently is just letting uh, Otto just do this 2v1 here um, on the site. Just who's the better ban at this point. And, uh, okay. And I didn't get to see what happened, but I guess MC50 did, in fact, help his teammate out. Um, forgive me. He must have had a line of sight there, but on the, in the mini map, it looked very much like he was just leaving his teammate out to dry. <laughs> um, Absolutely. It, it for for League Four funds, that's essentially all we do. Which is like, I want to want to be one. This guy beat him in lane, and just you both go to mid lane, and then you know, four people randomly jump out of the bush and BM. So yes. Uh, And they look like they're getting middle control here is another thing that I would say if I knew exactly what I was talking about Call of Duty. And um, it, it seems like, stuff. yes, uh, two people holding mid while two, one person holding in sight um, just to let the rest of the team know where they're going. Uh, 2v3 currently for the A team with no Caracas. Once again, being the first pick. Um, Personally, from what I've seen in the season, is this Krakus is, is 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 much better when he uses his teammates as information um, to uh, you know help him play, and he's he's better as like one of the last two people alive rather than being the one getting all the information himself. So maybe he's just having a little bit too much fun with these four fun game modes. But um, as you can see, you had one person holding the B site and the rest of people hunting, um, and the person on the B site won the one v one. So. Looks like Otto claps it up there. That Paris okay. Legion logo represent. I always like watching uh, teams represent their their favorite professional teams. Always fun to see. Go watch the pro leagues. Helps out. Uh, helps you know the yeah. the better the pro leagues are doing, the more collegiate gets supported. So go watch all your favorite pro leagues and yeah. And also, yay microtransactions. Um. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to, only to support what you can afford. the teams. The fair state yes, official official uh, we only spend what yes. you can afford on microtransactions. So oh the P is that's an aggressive uh, uh, bomb plan. Gets it off. Teammate cleans it up. Nikki not able to clean Otto Otto was a, a real friend there. Yes. Um watching his back. So he was planting the bomb. Um it is a, a four V three currently with, with the bomb down, which um we Okay, MC50 was in a really aggressive forward position. Um, I currently like where Karakas is, like, sort of, okay, I no longer like where Karakas is because he's dead. Um, but he was kind of, like, holding a doorway, which is, like, the straightaway to the bomb site. Um, and a really good collapse here. Um, they they come in almost all at once, except for Saint was looking to be the hero at the end there. And... Uh, it's it's now five to two for the A team, which means they gotta start stringing some rounds together. Otherwise, it's gonna be uh, over. Again, another profound statement. Um, I, this is one of those things where I wish I could see your face right now and just the, the outward cringing that you have currently. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm laughing. We're having okay. a good time. <laughs> having a good time. Having a good match. Watching. Uh, we're having fun. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, we're having fun. Um, that's, uh, that's what today's about, right? See and we get the, the nice bomb. Is he going to be able to pick it up? No kills here. No kills. A glide that's, bomb is that's especially a dangerous in that search and destroy. It's a real feel. Bad. All kill strikes, essentially. Getting one kill and it just ends. But it gives you valuable information even if you don't kill anybody. Um, and he also knows that the, the bomb's going down on B. So the rest of the team just kind of looking at a is rather confusing like he forgot to communicate it he waits for the bomb to go down before anybody actually moves Caracas does pick up two kills with the sniper and uh i wanted to let the spectator and i went and doubt look at Caracas. uh and uh perfect but, um yeah i don't really the good information to the spectator so no worries no worries uh he uh i know does he gets a quick scope out, whips a pistola this out is... cleans it up and the this is by far his well. favorite map to snipe on. Yes, he uh -huh. always busts the uh -huh. sniper. Oh, uh -huh. airstrike! Get uh -huh. a little, a little swifty there, a little swifty. Does he have time to defuse though? 
Yes, that's the deal. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's all fun and game. It's until you meme the loss. Um, yeah. So that's going to be the been win there. for the, for the I haven't done it. We've all been there. Come yep. on now. Get a little we, too confident. We've all, we've all trolled. And a big part, um, a big part of esports is the mentality, right? So if you've got to be feeling yourself, if you really want to win, um, but at the same time, you can't just assume you're going to win. You have to, you have to go into the mindset like, I'm going to take this game, but it's going to be hard, and I have to put my all into it. So, yes, always respect your opponents; otherwise, they make fun of you when you lose. Yes, yes, so, which is fair. I uh, mean, if you uh, if you are the ones to put it out there and go out there and and you know have a little bit of fun, enjoy that rivalry. Um, don't be upset when it uh, comes back the other way. And that's one thing I definitely talk to my players. Like, we do not BM. We're, we're a team that we want to be respectful to the other teams. Uh, even if they do it first, let them. That's cool. You want to be like that. Um, but, uh, again, BMing and a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun here and there is, is quite different, um, especially if it's apparent between the two teams, if it's somebody you know, especially um, between friends, like in this show match like this situation where, hey, we can, we can be a little funny. We can play a little around here. Everybody's trying to here to have some fun. Absolutely. The teams you know and stuff, absolutely, it's fine. Like they, like us in GVSU or like us in MTU and stuff like that, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll flash icons and stuff every once in a while. But yes. um, at, for the, the teams that we don't know, it's always like if you want to emote at the end when you're blowing up the Nexus, that's completely different than emoting in lane. Correct. Just emoting after kills and stuff. Yeah. So, um, and it was the same way with, it, with Overwatch when we played Western. I think there was one year we played them five different times. Um, and it was very, very close match every time. And we'd met him, and, you know, we played against him at LAN, we played against him in person. So one of those things that you have a lot of respect for those players. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, hey, you know, my team, <laughs> me, me and my boys are, are out here trying to, trying to get the dev. So we're, we're going to go for the, the mental gameplay as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, it adds fun. It's why they put those in the game, right? It yes. adds the fun a little bit. Just, you know, hey, you know, my personal favorite for League is the little monkey with the hot cocoa. And every time something crazy happens, you just, like little monkey with the saw cat with the hot cocoa just like no so that's that's my personal favorite emote so okay um, fair enough yeah it, it, yeah it's one of those it's like it means absolutely nothing it's not super toxic or aggressive it's just for fun so yes yes um, i always like uh, like the cuter the emote or the like more pink and cute the skin is the funnier i find it um when, when you're no. just like if especially it's it's really funny because uh hog has a very very like cute pink skin and um it's always funny when you're like actually crushing on Hog because he's a big terrifying presence, right? So the tank is a game lobby closed. All right, we're coming back to us. But um, Roadhog is a big terrifying like present in your face presence where he can just hook you, he can one shot you. So you're scared every time you see him, and then you see this pink guy with like a little uh, flushy or like fluffy little hat on, a little um, stuffed animal like that at his side, and you're just like, oh. But then he like hooks you and one shots you. Like, oh, that's right, I'm supposed to be scared. So. Which can always yeah. be fun. It's like Urgot with the pajama skin. Exactly. Just I was like this crazy crab well. monster and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> with, with the pajama skin. Um, yes. So we have any idea what happened with the game? Did uh, we just get kicked no. out? Or is it that I full lobby reset? I like the wrong map the, or I something? Think the lobby reset. Okay. Good. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to get back, getting back in the game. Because Hard Point's definitely one of those game modes that I do enjoy. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge Search and Destroy fan. I'm not a, oh, make a mistake and you're done. You're sitting around waiting. So um, yeah. Hard Point's definitely one of more, my more Absolutely. favorite maps. Respawn game modes, so. a lot more high-octane action. So. Absolutely. Yes, and with more action, it's always more entertaining. So. Of course. Of course. Uh, at least personal opinion. I'd um, much rather watch a, a close game. Um than, than like a good one-sided game if that makes sense so not good so i would much rather I'm, watch a close I'm game between to two mid-tier teams than a good team play a mid-tier team where it's like a very one-sided game There's more absolutely i mean it. i i've i've watched games where like two last place teams just have no idea what they're doing and it's like a 45 minute i'm gonna fall asleep kind of game where they're just kind of waiting forever for whatever Thing is going to happen yes uh to happen and someone finally makes a mistake in the game the overwatch league this past year had a, a game that was dubbed the the toilet bowl uh no it ended up becoming the <laughs> it ended up becoming the breadsticks bowl actually because one team promised breadsticks if their team like got they had a bingo cards every week and if their team completed the bingo card you would get breadsticks and uh so but they were the worst team in the league that's how they're like trying to drum people to watch it and so it ended up yeah. being there was two teams with no wins and uh, so they went into one match. It was the Breadstick Bowl, and it was uh, it was very, <laughs> it was an actually very entertaining match because the teams were, were very skilled, and it ended up being uh, that the bingo card did go off, and, and everybody got Breadsticks in Canada. So, yes. but back and to I the like, game. Yeah, no. I just uh, before we go back, I like games and, and teams that are willing to do stuff like that to add an extra element to their game because you know we all watch games, but having that extra little thing is always a good thing to make sure everyone's watching. Absolutely. But, uh, 
back to the game. It appears that Nikki and Airstrike have switched teams once again. Um, See, so yeah, I, I, I knew they switched teams before. But um, yes, no. Uh, so back to hard point again. You, you control the point. The point lasts for about a minute. And then it swaps points again. First to 250 wins. Um, so this is by far my, my favorite game mode. Um, because uh, all the defenders just kind of camp in corners. And all the attackers just kind of just do this. Which is just run through doors and hope that they can shoot them before they get shot. Uh, Otto picks up two kills. Currently five and twos. It's doing extremely well so far. Um, as, as kills being traded literally all over the place. Um, yeah, this is definitely a uh, match where you see both teams evenly matched, picking up trades on both sides. Blue team do have control at this current moment. But, oh, trades for the pre-fire. Nobody there. Yes, this is also the, the game mode where if you look at the kill feed, it's always one side. It's just all one color, and then, you know, they'll flip the next fight. It's all the other color. It's, yep. it's kind of crazy because they don't really change their, their hiding spots too often because it's just so quick with the respawns and stuff. You just you go in there once, find out where everyone's hiding, and then you go back with an attack plan, and Absolutely. they usually clean them all back up. Um, got a, The point switching, obviously, all the teams know when the point is switching and where it's switching to, which is why you see all the, the teams essentially just running there already. Um, and there is a, a short delay before the, the hard point is unlocked as well. So it's an it's initial fight for it, and... It appears the blue team has it for now. Oh, it's a good flank by Auto, but everyone's watching their corners. Yep, close. Rock as well. He's not at the point. Yet. Well, I wasn't at the point. He made sure he got his grenade in there to help. And, yes. Uh, utility is important. Gets one. Does he know about Llama? I do not believe so. Just team? waiting for support at this Does point because they obviously need more. Oh, heroes. two people there, two, uh, two yep. more than one. So I can do that math. Got the support. <laughs> that that's not math. That's just identifying <laughs> which is greater. Uh, like you know, man's league skills and Coach Eaton's league skills. One is greater than the other. Yes. Um, uh, well, yes. <laughs> that is, uh, yes. I um, definitely am better. So unlucky. Yeah, absolutely. That's right, buddy. Um, so again, lots of lots of action, lots of kills being traded back and forth here. Uh, the hard point switching once again. Um, the B team obviously has got a, a very large lead, but the blue team's got the hard point first. They're so trying to make up some of that time. Um, about a, a twenty. Uh, okay, just as I said that now thirty point difference because the the point switched um, and it switched again and currently being contested. Uh, Caracas once again dropping a bunch of kills on point. Um, it, it this is one of those game modes where a huge individual performance on one hard point can make the difference uh, as far as for your team so you can get a, a quick you know 30 points turnover uh really fast in between uh the, these two hard points just depending on that's a really good sneaky point that i can't see who was hiding there we was just sitting in a ledge that was really cool i don't know if you could actually see anybody from there but um the red team went ahead and wipes the the blue team but the, the point spread is uh, shrunk once again. It was, yes. you know, 30 and 40. Now it's 20. Um, and like we said, we want to see a close match. Missing Peace laying down, able to pick up the kill on Karaka there. Good positioning. Hard to shoot someone per round. Not a lot of hitbox shot. Correct, especially with the stairs and the pillars and the stairs there. Just, yep. I don't know where that grenade was going, but um, it just looks like he was just trying to get the person hiding behind a box, maybe? Um, this is one thing you see in Call of Duty that you don't see in other shooters, just how aggressively everyone's always pushing each other. Yes. Um, uh, I mean, obviously R6 is, is a little bit slower, same thing with CSGO, but I mean, even Overwatch, people aren't pushing each other this uh, this intensely all the time because everyone knows they kind of respect numbers advantage for Call of Duty players. It's just kind of like, we have numbers advantage, go, everyone run forward. So, um, and you don't ever see other game modes of people just blindly running around corners either. So, yes, which I think like is, is part of the fun of Call of Duty, right? That high octane aggressive. Uh, let me swing and just skill skill check the enemy team. And, and then, granted, it lets you also have the the, uh, the the more chill game modes like search and destroy, uh, and those one life game modes as well. So a good balance, a good mix for everybody. Yeah. 
so as we can see once again just as the blue team recaptures the point the red team once again gets it um i know the fairs uh crimson team definitely struggled on this map uh during the, the regular season um this was one of the maps that they they did not do very well on so this uh, considering that the entire crimson team is in this game i can understand why the uh the one person who is not is winning this game currently uh <laughs> Definitely. As far as Saint is concerned, so um, that was definitely a controller movement right there. That was, uh, yes. Sorry, <clears throat> well, we're flipping a new hard point, and uh, who's Saint trying yes, to pick up the kill? Is... Able to get found out. Otto picking up two there. The big two piece for him. Is he gonna get three? No. Nikki does clean it up. Well, and the other good thing that I like seeing from this is just how even this is between the A team and the B team. Yes. Um, you, you do see them like flipping games back and forth, and um, only one person swapping teams back and forth just kind of shows that it's it's really balanced through the entire thing, which is really good to see, especially for the future. Um, Nikki was unaware that Saint was going to be sliding in there and kind of just ended up right in front of her, um, just below the gun. Uh, Karaka's picking up two quick kills as well. Um, I, I'm I'm impressed that he runs with two main guns or a backup gun that looks like a main gun. I don't know. Yeah, he runs like with the AR with the sub in the, as the backup, just to so he can use the the AR to kind of clear those long range sight lines. And then when he runs into point, he switches to that submachine gun for those short range engages. I, that it's seems like a crazy advantage people, over something. But, like but the uh, only problem is the time to switch is slower than someone switching to a pistol. So if you're in that situation where but that's just confident right he's confident that he's gonna get that kill with that initial clip because if he's not switching to that second weapon is gonna take longer than them he's, he's gonna be done interesting okay. um once again the the score is shrinking quickly it's down down to 14 um and the blue team currently has control of the point which as i say that cast occurs i I, I always I always type in chat caster curse whenever something like that happens and I just did it for myself so I'm <laughs> currently screaming at myself internally. Um, that was one of the things that oh, I, I made sure to tell all the the league casters like whatever you do don't say we're winning. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but the blue team has in fact switched the score. They uh, they are now in the lead up by seven, which is actually a huge swing considering they were down by almost fifty earlier. So this is kind of insane that they've been able to swap it like this uh nikki unfortunately loses that gunfight um both of them peaked at the corner at the same time so it's kind of a 50 50. um i'm sure here that the spectator will swap to someone else here shortly and uh we got karaka's killing people through through uh walls while also getting taken down by saint himself um Karaka is currently sitting at 24-19, which the, uh, the one thing I do want to point out is he's only got 20 seconds of objective time, which uh, kind of just shows that he's he's the he's usually the first Correct. person in looking to clear out the site Correct. and then having the rest of his team capture the point for him. As you can see, him kind of just skirting the outside looking to make picks. He saw the leg there, but wasn't enough to get the kill. Yeah, uh, it's one of, what does, does uh, able to see through the walls there where there's like, oh, hey, pick up peace there, but uh, peace able to clean him up there. Otto also doing really well this game, 28 and 21, but he's got a significantly more objective time, which, like I said, I, I do expect Otto next master to be the one who, who picks up the range as kind of the main carry until we get Absolutely. another player in um, to, to fill the massive shoes and, and place that Krakas is, is left for this team. Um, Airstrike picking up two, two kills on both on Krakas and Otto, who's been kind of struggling this tournament from, from what I've seen. I say tournament, I mean the, 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 the games that we're playing currently. I'm definitely yes. very, um, I, I definitely believe in this Fire State Call of Duty team to step it up over the course of the semester, or over the course of the summer heading into next next year. So I'm really excited to work with them and continue to, oh, nice two-piece from Airstrike. That actually that picks up four. Tree? Let's see if he's, he's six two coming tree, in at the same time. Is he able to get, no, uh, not quite. You gotta get to cover. That was oh. so close. <laughs> that was a good angle. They almost lined up for him as well. No, I mean, and that, he had been, struggling um the, the other game modes as well so it's good to see that uh airstrike was picking up some kills there um i have to i forgot to turn my discord on do not disturb this is really awkward i got alerted a bunch <clears throat> anyways um no like i said uh, airstrike pick going positive that game is actually really impressive um 
so I'm, I'm happy to see uh, all the players having their moments in these games. Yes. So. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, so I believe it's time for show match. I got to figure out what the details are. Uh, I'm, you might have your game. solo cast it. I might cast it with you. It depends on what the team. I think that I'm willing to bet the team wants me in comms with them as well. So, but okay, we'll um, that will be extremely yourself? painful because I, 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 I believe in myself to just talk about random stuff during the game. As okay, far I actually, as talking I actually kind of want decent level. Uh, I, I kind of want to cast. I want to demonstrate my ability to okay. both stay calm I under pressure. Uh, look at loadout tab uh -huh. in Discord. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so you carried me here. <laughs> all right, well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to cut through a couple-minute break, but after that break, uh, we're going to be back uh, with your boy, Coach Ricochet, here to teach these youngins how this video game is played. And by that, I mean probably get uh, get run around. So uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't picked the uh, – I played, I, I played probably 40, 50 hours in Vanguard uh, and a decent amount more in the games before that. Um, but uh, – but uh, yeah, I'd say it's been a it's been a hot minute, so I'm excited to, to just uh, uh, try not to embarrass yourself. That's the only goal. Yes, old old man game. <laughs> where I'm gonna not embarrass myself. Uh, where do we have a video in here that's good? Um, of course, we do. You have lots of videos that are good. Yes, One in yes, particular good that you're for, the for may or may not be that. Yes. Good for the okay. Oh, don't worry, I got you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> no uh, problem. Hold on here. Yeah, we're gonna play this video that I. Uh, if you want an example of my video editing skills. Uh, this is one of them. So it's going to be talking a little bit about the program. It's a little bit uh, talks about the new what the need for the new building and how that new building is going to help us out. So we're going to head over to that, Perfect. and uh, we'll be back shortly. I started the esports program here at Ferris because I saw that there was a need that needed to be filled. I know me and all of my friends really enjoyed watching esports, and I said, hey, we don't have anything like this here at Ferris. I actually came to Ferris, and the first thing I did was look up in the clubs if there was an esports program. Before I joined esports, I didn't really feel like I had any sense of identity with the university. When I was growing up, I started seeing this esports scene, watching these professional players, and I said, that's something I want to do. When I joined the esports team, it was really cool because I could say, hey, yeah, I'm a bulldog, I do this. Honestly, I thought it'd be a cool way for someone like in my condition to honestly be able to play a sport because it's kind of hard for someone with a disability to actually find a place to in college where they can belong. Esports has really made me proud to be a Bulldog. Um, it gives me a way to compete and represent Ferris. So I am a Ferris player. Enjoying Ferris as a whole more so than just taking classes to get a degree. It's given me more discipline. So I get my assignments done like before games and before practice. Gaming and esports can help improve Ferris's community by giving a lot of the students who don't have a reason to fit in, a lot of the, I like to stay at home and, and, and play video games in my room, it gives a lot of those students an opportunity to m come together and make friends. Personally, esports has helped me get connected on campus. It's been really enjoyable to see other people that I may have never met. I've met other friends that I never would have known existed here at Ferris had I not joined esports. It's really easy to get to know people. All my friends are through esports. It was really cool to get to get to know other people from universities that are going through the same thing and just wanting to play esports. We have this great foundation that we can call a family, basically, with the esports program as it is. So, with all these people, we have 300 plus already. That's going to draw more and more people and more and more attention. Really, the interest is already there, um, just so long as we maintain our presence here in the university and the community. A lot of high schoolers have reached out to us and said, hey, are you guys offering scholarships? Do you guys have teams in the games that I play? Um, and, and most of the time, we're like, hey, we want to get you here. I want the esports program to flourish more than just settle where it is. Having an esports arena at Fair State would make the gaming experience more because we could have tournaments against like multiple teams here at Ferris. We can be competitive with it, but it's in the end of the day, it's just about making new friends and bonding with people and having a good time with the games. I am proud to be a ball dog because of how much fun I get to have and all the enjoyable stuff I get to do as a bulldog. I'm proud to be a bulldog. I am proud to be a bulldog. I'm proud to be a bulldog. To be a bulldog. All right, yeah, welcome back to uh, Coach Mans just said he's proud to be a Bulldog. Now, I wasn't actually in the match as I was editing my class and they jumped in without me, but here we are, uh, ready to get um, to play some games. 
t- typical Jono permanently AFK as his team's carrying him. To be honest, this is exactly what I expected um, out of uh, uh, Coach Ricochet here. Uh, instantaneously dying off spawn every yes, time. Of um, hey, I was doing fine is... in warm-ups too. That's the disappointing part. Uh huh. Yes, he he was very proud to tell me that he got nine kills in warm-ups, but at this point, seven, he looks seven, like we'll he's. Okay, he, he at this point he looks completely lost, and I am someone who has absolutely no idea what they're talking about. So, um, if I could see that, his teammates can too. Uh, obviously, Coach Ricochet here isn't in comm, so he doesn't know where the people are, or the fact that you could shoot through that wooden plank there. But uh, yeah, just like his teammates, they all learned very quickly that he is going to be an anchor. Um, what, no comment? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, and, sorry. Uh, obviously... Losing the 1v1 once again against one of the uh, the members of, of, of this pair of eSports clubs. It looks like he's on a team with Caracas, so it seems like it could possibly be a very easy dub here. But um, considering that they're already at a disadvantage with Coach Ricochet on their team. Yes, it, playing on it not my computer, difficult. not my mouse. Okay, they are. Um, uh. mm -hmm. So Otto is an, an incredibly good player as well. So that's, that's you know, no shame in dying to Otto there. However, um, uh, just kind of not even putting a bullet on anybody in this game. He's just a spectator at this point. <laughs> oh um, no! You, you, oh, no, you are aware that you're playing this game, not yes, spectating, I, uh, correct? Yes, I am. Okay. It's not okay. going as well as okay. I'd like it to. And I'm really hoping to see some participation out of you here, Jono. Yes, of um, Did just, not get time to set up my just, class, but we've already been here. Uh, just think of it this way. Uh, every bullet that gets yeah. shot towards you is a bullet not shot towards someone who actually matters. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Absolutely. So. so, it's been a good uh, match so far. I, We're giving them a little bit of an advantage, so that way, uh, when I do get warmed up, it's not going to be so one-sided. Um, and that's, uh -huh. that's my, kind of my game plan for this. Year. Uh huh. Yes. Um, kid, this is this your moment. Mom spaghetti, don't drop the ball here. This is your moment. Don't right, joke. Drop the spaghetti. And you drop the spaghetti. Unlucky. Right. And the references all at once. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, so they are 50%. The guy gets the 250. So obviously his team is just absolutely deadlifting Coach Ricochet here. But um, there's there's no shame in getting carried. All that matters is that he's a good team player. <laughs> and he, if You're he in was in head. comms, he would, have, head, he would absolutely know that his team let his team know that, that Lama with an RPG is hiding around that corner. But because he's not even in comms, he can't even relay that information. Oh, man. Um, once again, completely unaware that he is uh, being flanked. Um, I wouldn't go to the sniper, Jono. You can't hit any of your shots whatsoever to start with. So I would go with whatever is is, oh, is burst fire and with as little recoil as possible. Yes. Uh, preferably heat-seeking bullets. They they might assist you in this current endeavor. Um, as you can see, Coach Ricochet here is currently running towards the hard point. We know that he's going to die here. <laughs> oh here my from, God! The, the caster curse is actually unbelievable. <laughs> Just I've disrespected you, by my you, fellow caster. Here. You can't blame caster curse on me here. This yes. is this is you would be doing this even if I wasn't saying anything. But I think it's it's infinitely more hilarious that I get to make fun of you during this. Oh, absolutely. Um, I was fully prepared also, to do pretty well too. So. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> uh, all of us think we're gonna do really well until we get into the game, and then, okay. Okay. Pulls out the pistol, it's... just showing that he can miss all 50 bullets, and <laughs> MC50 did not, in fact, move from that corner the entire yeah, yeah. time. Yes. And, uh, yes. So, yeah, the, the um, nade toss is good, though. That's, that's legit better than that one. That's, uh -huh. okay. Uh, so the key to throwing a grenade is to pull out your gun afterwards and shoot the person shooting you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and that's, that's pro strats. Um, so you just died to your right, so I would suggest looking to your right here as Otto is going to once again it's kill you again. <laughs> Uh -huh. You're now actively throwing me off for content. <laughs> All right, absolutely, I am. Um, I'm glad that someone finally don't don't bully him. Come on. Uh, I find I I'm gonna talk nice. you up there now. This go. is a hundred percent kill. kill. This is see this is the comeback. This is the three piece two piece uh, that we wanted. We got two. We got two. All right, easy, we're back easy. up. The comeback starts confidence here. confidence um, is restored. Uh huh. Yes. Um, just know that there's a, at least 20 people in chat currently making fun of you. Um, so, so I have chat. Up no, too, absolutely. Chat. There's. Okay. That was a really close one. We went with one of our better Call of Duty players. So uh, obviously, I'm not going to give you too much crap for that. But um, 
uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing your match score to see how much you've contributed in this game, yeah, considering so there's 25 couple, points left. And we get a couple of maps because I'm uh, looking to improve. Or, uh, words are hard here. Looking to make a comeback and you know to prove that I have warmed up after this first game. I also need to adjust my DPI. I play on a very low DPI, and I'm on 60 FOV. Is that what it is? Enemy has the hard point. Stop back sure. Uh -huh. uh, I'll also like to say that uh, Coach Ricochet is on mouse and keyboard, and the rest of the players are on controller, <laughs> giving him facts. an already massive advantage, uh, as you can see in his gameplay. Um, but he uh, he is going towards the, the strat of, I'm just going to play with my settings and not show everyone else yeah, be dying over is. and over again as my is. team just carries me to victory. There we go. That's what we're lacking there. Now we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you sure you didn't want to do 180 so you could see it behind you? No, I like I typically play on 103, but uh, I'm feeling pretty pissy about this. Don't shoot the plane. That's okay. the Another thing that uh, you guys may not know about Coach Ricochet, he's got an, a, a huge monitor that allows him to see like 270 degrees, which gives him an unfair advantage in game. So obviously he's handing, capping himself, playing on a normal human monitor this game. Absolutely, that's um, correct. So he doesn't get the unfair. Just figured I'd make it a little fair. I want a sandbag. This is game one sandbag. Game two is going to mm -hmm. be the uh, the one that really matters. So. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, he's looking to pick up his third kill. He might get <laughs> he it. And, get it. Uh, <laughs> SDG is banned. Yeah, that's unlucky for me or them. I don't me, I guess. All right, run it back. Run it back. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. So um. You have five kills in total with a three, three seconds. Three seconds in the time. Uh, That's uh, the warm up yes. match. Is, mm -hmm. is it's called uh, limit mm -hmm. testing, as as I am known to mm -hmm. say. So, mm -hmm. uh, I think you also had a six hundred objective points, while the first place person had over eight k. Mm -hmm. I think is what mm -hmm. I saw. I do. I don't, we might run out back to replay and stuff. Yeah. So um, obviously, just you know, good warm up. Um, Certainly, right. I will. Ooh, that's not it for me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're feeling good. So this is... Um, I'm, you get to I'm see the tactical side of my gameplay come out here. I'm going to give you some advice right now. You're going to uh, hide in a corner and wait for someone to run in. That is your best game plan. Because I think out in the open, you are definitely not the uh, I'm going to win a 1v1 gunfight kind of person. I, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, perfect. Coaching advice. See, you can coach multiple games. It's not something I've talked down on other people for doing before. <clears throat> Absolutely. Anyways, uh... Wait, so, wait, where uh, am I? Oh, I gotta join in. That's that's fine. Or they just said no, I can't. Okay, we here. Okay. First of all, I I think that they're doing four v two. What is this? Five v two? Wait, was it five v two? Right, okay. It looked like five v two there for a second. Well, it's Satan, we'll Caracas versus they, everybody. I believe they can still three v three here. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, at, at this point, putting Satan Caracas is, seems like a free win together, um, oh. which is why they, they put Jono on their team as well, <laughs> because you got to have an anchor um, to really bring back. Um... All right. And as you can see, the, the chat is having a very fun time making fun of you. So yes, uh, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna continue that, that theme for this game. So I'm going to go ahead and say that you're not going to be the first one to die, but you're definitely going to be the last one to die, and you're going to choke really hard. That's gonna be my personal predi prediction here. Oh no, I'm gonna. I, this is a free win for my team. High latency. You see that? That means uh, I'm going to do better than the other team. We need a tenth. I gotta. Okay, that's Karaka. Don't kill Karaka. <laughs> Don't kill Karaka. Correct. Yes. He's gonna watch something for me. Mhm. Mm this kind of reminds me of like playing with your little brother, and you're just like, "Here, guys, follow me," and then you, your little brother just follows you around. Uh, that seems like Karaka and Coach Eaton right now. Oof. Uh, Coach Eaton here, with absolutely no fear, runs r directly past the bomb, knowing they're watching it, and tries to take the one v one. Yeah, um, I was gonna surprise him. I want to surprise is critical. Uh huh. Absolutely. Um, that 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 looks like a little something that I've uh, I've seen before. I don't want to um, people to the lobby. I need a, I need a carry. You no, know, I think they did this on purpose. Okay. Because oh, okay, Satan Karakas are on one team. Um, 
Tor am there to... Oh, we won. Yeah, let's go team. Thank you, Karaka. Uh -huh. You're my hero. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Karaka. I can't... Uh, I normally am not this bad just... chat, just so that you guys know. Oh, don't give me the bomb. Oh, oh, I don't even know the bomb. Oh, God. Okay. Um, well, just, just, you know, stay back and let your carries do the carrying thing. And, uh, hide the corner. Yeah, good, good strat. I'm trying to do the CSGO thing where the casters be really quiet during dramatic points. And, uh, okay. John, I'm trying to figure out what button was the plant bomb button. <laughs> it's currently 2v2. It uh, and Coach Ricochet hitting actually some of those shots there, yes. which is actually impressive, to be honest. And I can um, the background to cover the bomb. Okay, okay. I like the way that you're thinking about this. Oh, they know. Um, they know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So usually when you get shot from behind, you turn around, not yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. just take it. Okay. I was giving. Um, I was making the space for my team to make the plays necessary. I'm a support player, or a tank player, I should say. Uh -huh. Space, make it space, letting the team do the work. I got the bomb. I got the plant on. It's gonna. It's gonna be a big clutch up for team coach and Karaka. <laughs> That's good. Uh huh. And Karaka's we trust. Absolutely. Got caught. I hope you've got your backpack ready because I'm hopping in and you're carrying me. <laughs> Alright, now the the thing I want to know is that is Coach Eaton the anchor that's heavy enough to at least lose one round? Because they've been relatively close considering you haven't done anything. Um, I, haven't done, I got the scratch that. Bomb plant you, 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 tough spots yes, to plan in. The harder it is to plan in, the harder it is to diffuse. Yes, you got the bomb plant, not communicating with your teammates, yes. Um, as you can see, Karak is getting two quick kills there. Um, it is currently a 3v2 <laughs> and 3v1 and all nine kills. Um, I just, I want to say that you really did a lot that round. You spotted a lot of enemies, you fired a lot of bullets and... Uh-huh. Uh yes. I don't know what that means in that chat, but uh, maybe he gave his controller to his brother. I think I, I think know that was a really common case. thing back in the. Uh... <laughs> it's a very common thing back in the Modern Warfare two days. I, sorry, my brother is playing. I'm playing now. Good luck. Uh... I believe that's a common taunt as well. Like, oh, hey, sorry, I got uh, got the controller back from my brother, so we're good. Now. Okay, you hit someone with that grenade. That's a pretty big pog. Uh, you're gonna open the door and see someone there. No? Okay. Yeah. Guys, let me do something. You could tell how much of a boomer I am by this going. This is just going way too fast for me. He, yeah. Uh, the, I believe my latency is quite high right now. Okay. I do feel and like obviously it was the, the the field of view there that prevented you from seeing him there. So you might need to turn that Correct. back up, buddy. Yeah. No, this um, is 103 is where I, where I play. That's my comfort zone. Hey, I got the only um, plant for Titan Plants. Let's go. Uh -huh. High latency and yes. latency variation. That's what we like to see. <laughs> um, I just want to, in honorable mention, that Caracas has 13 kills this game, um, which, you know, when the enemy team has, has five players and we've gone through four rounds, there's 20 available kills, which means he's gotten almost, you know, two thirds of the total kills in the entire game. So that's quick maths. See that? That's like, that's like. That's so unlucky. Oh no. Oh, I'm choking. Alright chat, this is why coaches are paid to tell you how to play the game. <laughs> Not how to play it. And that's why I don't claim to play it. Overwatch is my main game, my game at heart. If you're watching, you can uh, check my Overwatch game play out on my stream. Go check that, go find that if you want to. But. No, 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 no. Cool we're not plugging our personal streams. I didn't the say it. I didn't. I didn't come on, bro. Come on plug. now. Come on now. No plugs. Um, so, uh, the uh, the, the V team. I don't know if you can call it. <laughs> ends up getting a, a round back here. So it's yes. it's not a full sweep here, which is good to see because uh, sweeps are no fun for anybody. Yes. Oh, even we got the red latency variation now. Well, can we get the high latency to red as well? Let's go. Are you saying no? You're not ready, because that's ex exactly what I would expect you to say. I am definitely. Um, ready. 
Uh huh. This big nade tosses. That's melee. Uh huh. Yes. Yep. He's gotta show the air who's boss. If anybody <laughs> comes here, this is yeah. what's gonna happen. I you forgot know? my keybinds. Oh. If that uh, makes sense. Uh huh. Okay. So you wouldn't have issues with keybinds if you were using a controller like everybody else. No. Um, Finds a, a nice gun that Jono prefers to use, I guess, uh, which doesn't I think help I'm using, getting I'm shotgun thinking... from behind. <laughs> There's a pistol. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. MC50 uh -huh. uh, teaching me to check check all my corners. Uh huh. Or just stay with your friends next time. They're they're better than you. Yes. Um, Grog is getting one pistol kill. It's back to a one v one currently. This is for all of, all the marbles. No pressure. And. Because you're lucky, he looks like he's speed hacking. Um, We're with the picks bomb. up the bomb. I don't know if he's got time to plant it, though. I think he does. He might have been. I think he only needs seven hundred seconds. There's twenty seconds left, so he can get that. And he, he doesn't even. Okay, he wins the one. He won anyways. I just want to say, way to go, Jono. I mean, you got one more round, but like you're obviously just hard carrying this game right now. I can't believe I choked this bad. This is I. I definitely believed in myself, and I uh, after this game, I'm definitely more impressed with the ability of the Call of Duty players here at Fresh State University and across the league. So it's one of those boomer moments, you know, Uncle Rico moments, like I can throw the ball over the football still, <laughs> or the football over the mountain still, and then you, you come out, and then uh, the the kids show you, yeah, yeah, Uncle Rico. I don't think that's happening anytime soon. I don't. So I had some. Uh, I played a couple games with the the Counter Strike team, and. Um, just for fun, just, you know, playing each other's games, getting to know each other kind of things. And mm -hmm. um, I was completely lost on the map, and they were having to apologize to the rest of their teammates that I didn't know what I was doing as we were just playing, like, four fun games and stuff because they're, like, I'm just, like, crouch walking the entire map trying not to die. And, uh, hey, man, at least you killed Otto when he had a pistol out. Yes, so, I believe that he was well, in the middle of BM. <laughs> well, so. I, I do believe so as well. Um at that point, you know what you gotta do. Go back and BM him. What? I gotta Come go 360 now. kill somebody. That's what I gotta do. Uh huh. Uh, so the last person, it, at least what I would be doing is I'd be finding whatever corner possible to hide in and just hoping the time runs out so I don't okay, get embarrassed. I see someone dying um, yes, but you, it, I can't tell who got the kill there. But um, at least you weren't completely useless and were able to get at least one trade kill this game. Yes. So, Hey, that uh, doubles my limbs get... on the game on the map. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, he no Caracas. No, <laughs> no, no. He three sixty to no. I want to have a chat with him later. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, looks like we're gonna be choosing the next map. I personally, like I said, I hope it's not a search and destroy because. Uh, I, I feel like one live game modes are less fun than being able to just spam throw your body at stuff. So, um, also, I, I, I've been informed by the chat to let you know that you can't blame latency for being as bad as you are. Yes. So, um, uh, even even the chat's jumping in. So, so All right, well, for me, I dog. Think that's gonna wrap it up for us here today. But, uh, yeah, I had some fun. I got taught a lesson that I am uh, uh -huh. that I am way worse <laughs> at Call of Duty than I definitely thought I was. <laughs> so, um, yeah, good good job to everybody out there today. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm i just kind of shook that I that – I, I definitely thought I was going to do better. But, hey, we'll blame it on setups. Right? We'll blame it on, like, yeah, embarrass myself in front of chat. But, hey, chat, we're here to have fun. You know, that's what we do at FRC Sports. Here to get our degrees, become alumni, and uh, have some fun playing some games, meet some people along the way. So Absolutely. But also we're here to get good, and uh, apparently I need to do a little bit more of that as well. I, I know what you're going to be doing for the rest of the night now. Just spamming kind of games, just trying to, you know, make sure you don't embarrass I'm going to go home and get in my home set up and just drop like a 50 bomb. And just be like, I know nobody sure. believes me. <laughs> I so. was expecting, I was really hoping Caracas was going to drop a 50 bomb. I think he was having way too much fun to actually play seriously enough to like make that happen. So yes. I'm, uh, I'm glad that it seemed like everyone had fun here. Um, there was no one that was, you know, super negative as far as like KDs or anything. So usually if you're positive in KDs, you're, you're having fun. Absolutely. At least that's me personally. So. Yeah, my, uh, my KD, not so bueno, but uh, 
we 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 get them next time next show match uh you're gonna see my kd pop off so i'll tell you that that much for sure so uh-huh mm -hmm. unless it's a leak then you're, you're definitely not gonna have a positive kd in that uh, so hey well thank you guys for tuning into ferris esports today unfortunately it wasn't uh the the army west point match that you were looking forward to but we had a fun enjoyable night here on stream as well that match will be coming up next week but we also have uh valorant matches tomorrow so make sure to tune in first valorant matches of this semester i'm very excited about that our valorant team is doing very well we're looking to get catch a couple of big dubs headed into the michigan bandwidth bowl if you're a team looking to to play in the michigan bandwidth bowl reach out to me uh, yeah, at Ferris Esports, and I'll get you the contact information, or, or I guess I'll get you the information for that on the contact for that. Um, and if, if you're looking at a prospective student, looking to come to Ferris State to play any kind of video game you want, if we don't have a team, we'll make one for you. Um, and if you want to play in one of our current teams, hop in the Discord, uh, message me, and we'll, we'll, you know, have some stuff kind of kind of happen that way. We'll we'll get you in a place, position to pop off, be the carry player that you want to become. Do you have any final words for us here today, Coach Mans? No, I think that was it. Uh, we, we've we've hit all of our our talking points, and uh, I'm just happy to have been invited to this, and I had a lot of fun. So I had a lot of casting fun. Casting well. is very enjoyable. Please reach out to do casting. Yes, um, that's and my other. My I want to do a lot more fun stuff over the summer. I know the other Michigan directors and I have been planning all kinds of fun stuff for you guys. We want to get our players to do lands, uh, and we go on to kind of get together and kind of build those rivalries, right? Why do our sports? Why do our traditional sports teams have rivalries? Because they see each other a lot in the season, and, and they live. Uh, live nearby so uh, we're going to build those same rivalries here in esports so if you know someone on one of the other teams and you want to play one of those teams let me know uh, i'll talk to the director and i'll make sure that uh you know you can beat your friend in an official streamed match but all i know it. is that we're going to beat mtu in the bandwidth bowl <clears throat> absolutely we're gonna we're coming for you guys so i see you in chat don't don't think we don't see see you traders take care